to see something new that will blow our minds. I'll meet someone new who will change it. To discover a new experience. And something new about ourselves. We've been standing together for over 60 years because it's in our nature to support community. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. The Toyota Golden Guitar Awards. Here we go. Australian country music's night of nights, celebrating our rich history, our current stars, and our exciting future. It's looking forward, looking back. You see, these aren't just awards. Nah, this is a night where dreams can and do come true, and others begin. Artists will cheer for each other here, while friends, family, and fans hold their breaths in our hometowns. You see, we all started somewhere, we all come from different places, and we travel different paths, but like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. We come together in Tamworth to celebrate the music and the people that make us great. It's one of them nights. Let's go, Tamworth!
put your hands together for Uncle Len Waters to give us Welcome to Country, Camilla Roy. Ah, yama malia, and gaba bolori. Greetings, friends, and good evening. My name's Lenny Waters, Camilla Roy man. Come from Tumala Mission Station, and thank you for inviting me here to do your work on the country, where we pay our respects to our old people, and also acknowledge the land which we gather upon tonight, the great and powerful Camilleroy. But an ancient place and an ancient story, about the two pointers that point to the Southern Cross, Gidjigamba and Gadjigamba. And these fires, the sacred fires, were given to my old grandmother's people by the Creator. And they held great power, and he told them to look after them because to fall into the wrong hands, of course, people could run amok with them. But anyway, the neighbouring tribe got jealous. And in the middle of the night, they come with their coolamans and they picked up the fires and took off with them. Only to be caught by the Creator, where he hoisted the fires high into the sky where they couldn't be tampered with any longer. And the thieves he locked in the dark spaces of our universe, never to return. But this time of year, you can also see another part of that story. In the West, especially when the Southern Cross is dipping down, you can see the great water snake coming from the other side of the universe. But the two guards that stand watch over the sacred fires, they pick up their weapons, their spears and boomerangs, and they battle this great serpent from the other side because it's full of darkness and evil, and all it wants to do is infect the earth with darkness and evil. But the warriors stand their ground, and they fight tirelessly. But when they do tire, they look back to the sacred fires for more power, and then they continue their battle good against evil. But in today's world, we're all too easy to turn a blind eye or not wanting to know what's going on when darkness is about. And inside us, we must look for those sacred fires to give us the strength to stand up and fight good against evil. But go behind in there, Yemenai, come on, Nalu Dun Walaba, Marunga Wale, Yanalea. That just means welcome, everybody. Welcome to the strong lands of the Camilleroy people. Go well and be safe here. Go with God and thank you very much for inviting me to do your welcome tonight. That's got to be one of the best welcome to countries I've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Uncle Len. How is everybody? Come on. Some of you haven't been to the bar yet. Is everybody good? All right, well, we're in for a big night. You guys ready for a big night? I am uh, here, I'm thrilled to be here as your host tonight for what is going to be a night of fun, emotion. Somebody always bloody cries. It's going to happen tonight, you know it. And some cracking music that celebrates the best of country music. And we are going to give away 17 awards recognising recording excellence in 2022 plus the coveted role of renown, Country Music's Hall of Fame, all happening tonight, folks. Now, I don't know about you, but isn't it brilliant to be back in Tamworth in January with a normal festival? After the last few crazy years, I certainly appreciate being here. It's good to see you guys again, and uh, I uh, have recently become a, a dad, uh, so I've been off the road a little bit. So it explains the bags under my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. My days of partying are gone. This is all children, child. And uh, she decided to wake up at four o'clock this morning in the motel room and it didn't make sense why she was there. So screw everybody else. Everybody else woke up. And I apologise to the hotel rooms next to me at the accommodation as well. Tamworth and country music is certainly alive and kicking. It's great to see the crowds back in droves, the numbers of buskers up in Peel Street. I hope you've all had a walk down there. We are back, baby. Country music is back in business. I've got to tell you straight from the start, I am uh, 
a little out of my depth uh, being a host here tonight. It's not something that I usually do. I have a few butterflies churning up my gut right now. So bear with me. I'm going to try my best to keep this fun, to keep this upbeat. So if you need to go to the bar at any time to get yourself a bit of liquid courage, I want to keep this room loud. I want to keep this room enthusiastic. And I want all the drunk cousins to come out and yahoo like a bunch of hillbillies tonight in Tamworth. <laughs> It's time to give away our first Golden Guitar of the Night to present Apple Music Single of the Year. Let's welcome our first presenters. She is a multi-Golden Guitar winner and has been singing since the age of three years old. And let me tell you, it shows. She was the first person to ever take me on tour and I owe a great depth of gratitude for that. He is the front man, a founding member of the rock band, Australian legendary rock band, The Choir Boys. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise and welcome husband and wife, Mark Gable, Melinda Schneider. <laughs> It's fantastic to be back here on the Night of Nights, isn't it, Mark? Oh, it's amazing. This, look at you all. You look so beautiful and lovely and cuddly. <laughs> now, the last time that you were at a Golden Guitar Awards, I won a, a GG with Paul Kelly for yeah. Still Here, yeah. which is a song that I wrote when I was manifesting you into my life. Yeah, and then I arrived and we got married and we're still here. Thank God Again. for that. <laughs> All right. So, um, now, shall we give away the first award? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Okay. So Let's do it. There are five nominees vying for Apple Music Single of the Year. Apple Music Single of the Year. All or Nothing, Adam Brand. Stand up tall if you're gonna stand for something. Means nothing at all if it ain't all or nothing. Memory Lane, Brooke McClymond and Adam Eckersley. Get to know ya, Casey Barnes. Small Town, James Johnson. Sing along, drink along, Morgan Evans. The Golden Guitar for Apple Music Single of the Year goes to Memory Lane and Brooke McClymer and Adam Eckersley. The third single okay. from our upcoming second album, Memory Lane, was written as a love song charting how the husband and wife duo <laughs> got together. Brooke and Adam are nominees in a further three categories this evening and this win is the first golden guitar for them as the duo Brooke McClymont and Adam Eckersley. I might not agree with how you paint the picture but that don't change your thing Cause I got to hear I will want you wow. I'm not kidding you. I'm very shocked by this. The the calibre of we, we thought we had no chance. No then, way. <laughs> and I mean this, and I mean this genuinely. The calibre of of music that's coming out and the artists that we're up against, it's <laughs> bloody exciting. And we just thought we were like we'll just part get of the numbers. Up and having a beer tonight, fair <laughs> Oh, we do have a... This is crazy. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hey, we've got, we got to thank some people. Um, a record company. A record company, Universal, all the... Jono, Jono like, Jono honestly, Jono. we won an award. Um, our, our Robbie Desar, the producer of this track, uh, and, and Scott we wrote, Horscroft. And we wrote this with Robbie. Robbie Desar as well, yeah. Our producer, and he's available, by the way, so any of you new... 
excellent up and coming new artists. You need to contact him. He's brilliant. Go use Available him. Available as a producer, not as oh, a dude. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke's not pimping him out. <laughs> Although I look like a I look like a pixie pimp, don't I? Um, big thanks to our social media uh, guru, Alana. Alana, thank you yeah, so yeah. much. You keep us on the socials and because we are really bad at it. Yeah. So thank you so much to uh, our Maiden, Maiden Fender. Double R. Double R, massive one. Our sponsors at Double R. If anyone needs a tractor or any kind of <laughs> machinery, no, go no, talk to wait, our friends at Double R. Wait, we have to say this because it's kept our marriage together because he goes down the paddock on the tractor and I go, God, I love that man. Thank God he's gone. <laughs> you all know what I'm saying, right? So everybody buy a tractor. But listen, <laughs> mate, the sex life's amazing. <laughs> I'll say this, the most important people, Tom with and Kate, tractor. with a tractor. What have, no, you, no, don't make love to a tractor. That's weird. I'll say this, that everybody that has worked and been involved with us Honestly, over the entire career, like amount of a, what am I saying? I Span know. of our careers. I never know. No. I want to say a big thank you, but to Tom and Kay, our in law, my in laws, your parents, for literally keeping us on the road to look after our beautiful children. We can't do this without them. A big thank you to my mum, Ty, Wendy, and my late father, Peter, who we lost last year. This is, he'd be so excited right now. <laughs> and I also want to say the most important three people in our life, Harry, Tiggy and Elroy, our three children. Thank you so much. You, you make us keep going. So thank you, everybody. I hope we've thought of everyone. Thank you. This is amazing. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, Silver Linings, Kaylee Bell. This is Kaylee's second studio album and was released in November 2021. It has had over 11 million all time streams and includes collaborations with the McClymonts and US artist Lindsay L. Bell topped 2022 as the most streamed Australian-based country artist with over 20 million streams. And later this year, she'll support Ed Sheeran on his world tour throughout New Zealand. Silver Linings proves that Kaylee Bell is a force to be reckoned with amongst artists on an international level. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year Silver Linings, Kaylee Bell. Come on, how you doing tonight? It is good to be here. This is the uh, latest single of mine from my small town people here tonight. Let's go.
to present the next two awards. He is nominated for Alt Country Album of the Year tonight, and she scooped the pool with five. Bloody five. you greedy. Five golden guitars at the 2021 awards. Please welcome live wire and gentle soul Andy Gollidge and the Queen of Country Halls to us, Fanny Lumsden. I'm good. Welcome to your first Golden Guitar Awards. Yeah, wow. It's wild, hey? Um, Tamworth boy. <laughs> I am Tamworth boy. Tamworth yeah. boy, and congrats on your nomination. Thank you. Thank Strength you. of a Queen, your album also nominated for an ARIA Award yeah. this year. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty exciting. It's a pretty good way to start off the year, I reckon. I think so. Yeah. Um, the award. Vocal Collaboration of the Year. Let's take a Let's look. Let's take a look. Vocal Collaboration of the Year. James Johnston and Kaylee Bell, same songs. We're all singing to the same songs. Cause they're the world that we grew up on. They take us back to Kirsty Lee Akers, Amber Lawrence, and Ashley Dallas. Let the girls sing. Let the girls sing this song. Lee Kernigan, Mitch Tambo, and Isaiah Firebrace come together. Come together, we've come too far to walk away. Come together. Lynn Botel and Shane Nicholson, wise up. I'm a fighter, ready to roll. Melanie Dyer and Caitlin Shadbolt. Dumb decisions. Alright. And the golden guitar for vocal collaboration of the year goes to. Do it at the same time? Yeah, let's we'll do, do it. We'll do it at the same time. James, James Johnson, Johnson and Kaylee Bell. Same song. Same Songs is an anthemic ode to the songs that shaped a generation. It was a huge hit with fans and on the charts. This win marks the first ever Golden Guitar win for both James and Kaylee individually. James is nominated in a further four categories tonight and Kaylee in a further two categories. Wow. Um, I want to say what an amazing week it has been here in Tamworth. Um, from celebrating Star Maker 10 years, thank you so much to Cheryl Burns and Barry Harley who have done so much to me over the years, um, to playing a sold out show here at Trek with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, want to say, I want to thank James so much for having me on this song. Um, we've had an amazing, I guess, six months or so putting this song out and touring and coming and playing it for some of you guys. and. I'm just so proud of everything that he's achieving and so proud to be up here with him tonight. Um, to my family, my mum and dad, who are over from New Zealand, oh, I honestly can't believe this. Uh, thank you for sharing this moment with me here. Um, to my band, who have been here from New Zealand all week, I'm just so proud of everything that we have built together in the last five years and I'm so excited to get out with the boys and Ed next week. It's just going to be... One for the ages, um, and I'm proud to be representing country music on the mainstream stage, so it's going to be pretty amazing. Um, and thank you so much to everybody in Australia who have accepted me into your industry. I feel so much love in this industry, and I think that we just have such an exciting time right now, and I just want to keep this thing growing. I'm so proud of everybody here tonight, and I'm just so honoured, so thank you so much. There is so many people to thank, but I, I just want to start off by saying thank you to Kaylee. Um, 
about five years ago, I found myself in Nashville and no one wanted to write with me. And Kaylee said, come around. And we sat in a park and we wrote songs and we ended up writing a bunch of songs. And to be up here today with you and to share this moment with you is, is incredible. Um, there are so many people here that have been on this journey with me the whole time. And there's, there's three fellas down here, Gavin Carfoot, Nolan Wynn and Jared Porter. They wrote this song with us. And these boys have been with me on this ride for such a long time. So thank you. This one's for you as well, boys. Um, I want to have a special mention to my mum and dad and my, my sister Shona. <laughs> my dad said to me today, he said, you know, you've written songs about me, so make sure you, you make special mention to mum. And he's, and he's there right. Mum, thank you so much for always being there. You know, um, I'm, I'm a 30-year-old man and she's still doing my accounts and I love you, mum, so thank you. Um, my beautiful wife down the front, you know, you're the most beautiful girl in any room and tonight is no exception. I love you. Um, thank you for giving me two beautiful boys, River and Coda. There, you guys are just in my inspiration. Um, my manager, Bo, this man is the hardest working man in the industry and I, I swear by it, I am so lucky to have him in my corner. And just lastly, everybody in this room, the community that we've built, um, Kaylee and I have been lucky to go and play this song in, to so many people around the country and you guys are singing it loud and uh, you're just in our corner. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Now, Fanny, earlier this morning, uh, the, a memory came up on my mum's phone, actually, oh. of you and uh, Dan performing in our backyard. <laughs> Now, since then, yep. you've, you've won eight golden guitars yep. in an aria. Yep. Yep. How has that journey been? <laughs> Rough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been amazing. It's been sensational um, and pretty excited to be here. And you have uh, been playing at the Tamworth Hotel. I believe you have another yeah. show tonight, late, late after this. Yes. Um, and look, there's many ways to describe your shows, but um, mostly all I see online is that you end up near naked, so they sound fun. Well, you know, I always say if you can make them laugh, you can make them cry. Yeah. And if you're lucky, you can get their clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiration. All right. We, <laughs> we're here to get wisdom from Andy Gollidge <laughs> and uh, to celebrate the CMT video of the year. So let's have a look at the nominees. CMT video of the year. Star of the show. Brooke McClymont and Adam Eckersley, directed by Brad Murnane. As they wait for the star on the show. Small Town, James Johnston, directed by Elijah Kavanagh. Back to a small town, homebound, back to what I know, back to a big sky, low five, that's a way. Southeast Queensland, Luke O'Shea, directed by Luke O'Shea and Jay Sini. In your armor in the land from another time. So far from home. Something good's gonna happen. The Wolf Brothers, featuring Amy Shepherd, directed by Jay Sini. When you get us both together, something good's gonna happen. One of them nights. Travis Collins, directed by Jay Sini. And the golden guitar for CMT. Video of the year goes to you. South East Queensland, Luke O'Shea. Directed by Luke O'Shea and Jay Sini. Featuring raw and extraordinary footage of our Australian Defence Force deployed overseas, this video and song paint the picture of the harsh realities of war and what happens when our forces are away and then return home. This win takes Luke's golden guitar tally to 15 and Jay's tally to 2. Hello again. 
Good to see you guys. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you for this award. Uh, you would have seen over the last year or so, we've shot over 200 music videos. It's been insane and I feel very privileged to be able to contribute to the careers of so many artists in this way. I know how important videos are uh, to people. So I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to my family, uh, mum and dad, uh, Andrea, and uh, everyone else that's been on the journey. And um, I think this, this award especially is a really special one because I think this is what goes to the core of what country music is all about. It's all about stories and connecting people. And, um, you know, a, a lot of veterans, they go through uh, very difficult times and we really wanted to bring that to light, um, to really share that story uh, with people. Um, so thank you guys so much for this and it's, uh, it's good to be back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to echo what uh, Jay Sini, three times nominated director, and there's a reason for that because he's incredible. He's got such vision, and the footage that you see in his videos is just a really beautiful sp perspective on life in this great country that he captures so well. And uh, you're a talented man, mate, and uh, it's great to be standing here alongside you again. And uh, the other footage that we used in this is actually from the helmet cams of the, uh, the brave Australians that actually fought in the front lines over in Afghanistan in particular. And uh, the song's co-writer, one of them, Mitch Linham's a key element, and uh, as is Fred Smith, who was a fellow we got a lot of inspiration from, from his amazing album, Dust of Years Gone. He says it best, and he says, uh, and that's why we so wanted to capture that footage to show that juxtaposition of the hell that they existed in and, and this idyllic lifestyle that we have here that they have a hard time assimilating back into. And uh, Fred just said about it, you know, when they come back, we don't have to lionise them, we don't have to pity them, but we do have to have some understanding of what they've been through so that we can better support them and we don't have a, another generation of lost Australians like we did with Vietnam. And sadly, the statistics show that we're not doing that good enough. And so when you see those holes, we really want to bridge it. And there's an amazing organisation as an ambassador uh, for Soldier On. I really want to shout it from the hilltops that we can all play a part in addressing mental illness and PTSD and making it open and conversation as we've all experienced over the last harsh couple of years, it's uh, more dangerous than bombs and bullets. And so we're so grateful that you connected with this video and the images there, but in particular, um, Mr. Sarich, who uh, features in it, uh, who is a, a veteran who did tour tours over there and, and bravely kind of came forward and uh, sat in the video with us and shared his experience and. Um, uh, for all those returned veterans and for those still serving, we are eternally grateful. And so thank you for this award. Um, it's not mine, it's theirs. And so I, uh, I share it with them all. So thank you. Very well said and very well deserved. How are we doing so far, everybody? You still with me? I reckon we're off to a good start. I just wanted to mention before we get too far, everyone's got a cell phone in their pocket or a mobile phone now. You can shoot a message to your friends. Let them know that the Tamworth Country Music Festival is being streamed across the country and across the world. Even some of my family over in Scotland. I told them, when I told them that I was going to Trek to host the awards, they said, wear the fox hat. So here I am. G'day to my family in Scotland. I'm wearing the fox hat for you. Sorry, I'm a dad. I can't help it. All right, <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to a couple of artists celebrating massive milestones this year. Um, there's plenty around. Um, firstly, it's 30 years since Becky Cole won Toyota Star Maker. Heard about that? And the iconic Chad Morgan turns 90 this February and has been performing in our industry now for an amazing 70 years. Make some noise for Chad. I love this bit, when the uh, mandolins and fiddles come out, this is what I live for. Okay, our next performer is best known for his work as a front man for country rock bands. In the 80s, it was inner city favourites, the Danglin Brothers, and in the 90s, it was Golden Guitar Award winning super band, The Wheel. He's nominated tonight for Alt Country Album of the Year with his new album, Looks Like Heaven. Please make welcome with some noise with the title track, Kim Cheshire. <laughs>
Well, I woke up thinking about my own demise. As a life, I'm living just a thin disguise. If the truck should hit me on the way to town, well, they bury my body in a hole in the ground. that exciting time in the show where we present the first of our genre album awards. I was thinking about getting some balloons up here and doing genre reveals, but <laughs> we won't do that. It's a touchy subject. To present Contemporary Country Album of the Year, he is Program and Content Director at the Kicks Country Network, and she... Yeah, some fans of the Kicks Network in the house. Me too, baby! <laughs> and she was the 2022 APRA AMCOS Professional Development Award winner and has two nominations tonight, including Female Artist of the Year. Please welcome Justin Thompson and Melanie Dyer. Hello, Melanie Dyer. Hello, Justin Thompson. Well, Tedworth is a, a place where all subgenres come together and smash it for 10 days. And in the world of contemporary country music, we have people like yourself to thank for the standard and setting the bar, so I give it up. Melanie Dyer, everyone. Is she amazing? And you look amazing too. Thank you, Justin. And we are so thankful to people like you who drive contemporary country music onto the Australian radio network. And, you know, without Kicks Country, we wouldn't shine half as bright as this dress. <laughs> it's all you. And many of you in the audience too. We love what you do. Well, it's been a big festival and uh, a great start to the 2023 calendar year of events. But we have a job to do, and it's a pretty big job. We, uh, we have a, a really important and popular award to give out right now. We do, and you know what? I'm so excited that we celebrate three subgenres of country music and award those tonight for all the great work that these artists put into the albums. Absolutely. And the nominees for the Contemporary Country Album of the Year are... Contemporary Country Album of the Year... All or Nothing, Adam Brand, 
produced by Adam Brand, Visa Matara, Benji Popok and Luke Wharton. It means nothing at all if it ain't all or nothing. Living for the Highlights, Amber Lawrence, produced by Stuart Stewart. Light It Up, Casey Barnes, produced by Michael DeLorenzis and Michael Painter. I want to get to know you. Silver Linings, Kaylee Bell, produced by Simon Oscroft, Andy Mack, Joseph Farris, Andrew Pacheco and Lindsay Rhymes. Silver Linings, yeah. Wiser, Lynn Botel, produced by Shane Nicholson. Who knows? You do. You're well, let's find to. out You're what about we're about to, to know. <laughs> uh, the Golden Guitar for Contemporary Country Album of the Year goes to... I love doing this bit. Oh, so nervous. Can you hear it? ASMR. Do you, do you want to say the name, Melanie okay. Dyer? Oh, we've got Lynn Botel with Wiser. <laughs> Produced by Shane Nicholson. An album filled with love, nostalgia and enlightenment. Wiser was released in May 2022 and is Lynn's fourth studio album and her first solo release in nearly four years. Produced by Shane Nicholson, the album raced straight to number one on the ARIA Australian Country Album Chart. This win takes Lynn's golden guitar career tally to 10 and Shane's to 16. in a contemporary category, I think to myself, that'll be one I'm relaxing for. I'll just sit there with Mama and, and hold her hand. And we won, Shano. I'm so proud of this record. Thank you so much. I'm crying, Trav, so there. Uh, I have a lot of people to thank. Shane Nicholson, my producer. For making this happen in COVID. It wasn't easy, uh, but we got there. You did. And I love what you've done with these songs. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. <sighs> to, <laughs> I'm trying to breathe. Um, to everyone who voted us, who voted for us, thank you so much. Thank you to the CMAA. Thank you to all the musicians who played on this record, most of whom are Shane. <laughs> and <laughs> Josh Schubert, Gabby Louise. Um, Jack Howard, uh, I'm trying to remember everyone, uh, to Mizey, to Jen Mize, to Kelly Bruhaha and Kim McCartan for singing with me. Thank you, my friends. Uh, my deepest, deepest thanks to Kevin Bennett, to Felicity Urquhart, Damon Morton, Peter Sheree Peters, Danny Merrick and Kelly Cork, who co-wrote these songs with me on this record. Uh, I just want to thank you so much. Um, to Judy Naden for always making my ideas for artwork work, even though they suck. Uh, to Bette Gracie for your tenacity, for uh, getting me out there in front of everyone. Thank you so much for your belief. To Will Osland, Czech Label Services. <laughs> years and years of support, I thank you so much. Um, I want to thank the possible supporters who helped me make this record after COVID. I could not have done this without you. Thank you so much. And to my beautiful mother, Glenis Botel, I love you. Thank you for coming. I love you, Mama. <laughs> Shana, you want to say anything? Just quickly. I don't have much to say, except 
I just want to thank Lynn for having me on board for this record. Um, we've made a lot of music together over the years, and um, every time we do, it's, it's always enjoyable and it's always fruitful, um, sometimes extra fruitful. Wow. Yeah. Um, producing can sometimes be one of the roughest jobs in the world, I think. Well, I mean, aside from all the other rough jobs in the world, <laughs> it can be really hard work, but sometimes it's really easy. Um, like when you work with an artist like Lynn, and the records kind of make themselves. The thing that uh, I find the most difficult is the fact that it takes a lot of my brain to make a record and a lot of my heart, so I'm kind of consumed by it. And so that leads me to say I really need to thank my partner, Emma, and my kids who um, put up with me being completely mentally absent for the entire process of making a record and uh, waiting for me to return to the real world when it's over. Um, so I'm going to give this, dedicate this to her for putting up with me and making it possible for me to do what I love. And Linny, my favourite singer in the country. I love you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Love you, Damon. Oh, you got to love that. Our next performer is nominated for Male Artist of the Year later tonight and his debut album in 2018 earned him two Golden Guitar Awards. Please welcome with his song, The Good Old Days, The Soulful Troubadour, Andrew Swift.
Apple and Troubadouri. Whoa, oh, oh, that's going to be in my head for the whole drive home. How about you guys? Whoa, oh, oh, God, that's worse than the Wiggles. No, it's not, actually. No, it's not. Trust me on that. Our next award is for Instrumental of the Year, and to present this award are two artists who combine forces in 2021 to produce an album of stunning songs called The Song Club. With the new album in the pipeline for release later this year, please welcome Felicity Urquhart and Josh Cunningham. Well, country music is famous for its lyrics and storytelling. Now, Josh, why do you think it's so important that we celebrate instrumental excellence here tonight? Well, everyone does love a good story, Fliss, but some stories just can't be told through words. You know, there's sometimes when words just aren't adequate to express the deep things that only music can speak to. And uh, great instrumentalists are great storytellers, so it's only fitting that tonight we honour and pay respect to some of Australian country music's finest. Spoken like a true guitar picker. Well, <laughs> let's find out who's in the running for Instrumental of the Year. Instrumental of the Year. Dust. Angus Gill and Pixie Jenkins. <music> Burning Mountain, Michael Carpenter and the Banks Brothers, featuring Hamish Davidson. <music> Fidget Spinner. Mickey Pie. <laughs> Clippity Clop, Pete Dennehy. Soda Cat Boogie, the French family band. And the golden guitar for instrumental of the year goes to <gasps> Soda, Soda Cat, Cat Boogie, Boogie, the, the French, French family, family band. <laughs> Showcasing the talents of Stewie and Sonny French, this fun and bouncy track also features Tommy Emmanuel. This is the first golden guitar for the French family band. Howdy everybody, we're blown away to be winning this great award tonight, aren't we Sonny? Mm -hmm. It's like unreal that we had so many great musicians in this category then we're honoured to be winning it. Yeah, and uh, you know I wish I could be back there in Tamworth tonight. Sure, lots of our buddies are there in the crowd or on the stage winning awards and stuff. But um, no, it was so much fun recording the track. It's just so cool. I've grown up watching the Golden Guitars and you know, having one is just kind of a dream. It's just crazy. But yeah, thanks to everyone voting and people there supporting. And we want to thank the great musicians that played on the track. Yeah. Jeff Taylor and Tommy Emmanuel even featured on this tune. And Manaya called it the Soda Cap Boogie, and Manaya's our little girl, so thank you. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. I, I got a phone call from uh, Stewie last week, and he said, uh, if, if I win this, can you go and pick it up? I said, absolutely, uh, if they let me out of my cage, I'm usually at the back there. <laughs> but I'm so proud of them, they're like family. So I'm, and that's the first one for Sony, so it'll be many more, I'm sure. So I'm so proud of them. Thank you. Oh, goosebumps. Well, the next award that we have the pleasure of presenting tonight is for Bluegrass Recording of the Year. And this is a really special one, Fliss, because Bluegrass has played such an important role in the development of the sound of country music as we know it today. Absolutely true, Josh, and it's what makes this award so relevant. It is essential that we continue to honour and pay respect to the rich history and tradition of country music. We have some amazing bluegrass pickers here in the Australian country music family. 
Well, let's see who the nominees are for the Bluegrass Recording of the Year. Bluegrass Recording of the Year. Sweet Sister Jasmine, Angus Gill. All I can do is just imagine Sweet Sister Jasmine Good Morning Moon, Christy Cox. Are you still shining with the sun so bright? Weren't you up all night? Are you lonesome without stars? Until this song ends, Lynchburg and the Weeping Willows. Feels like I'm dreaming as I hold you again. We've come too far in love to go. Roadman, Michael Carpenter and the Banks Brothers. House of Sin, The Weeping Willows. There's a place of all temptation from the devil's own creation. Some call it the house of sin. Okay, Josh. And the golden guitar for Bluegrass Recording of the Year goes to... Good, Good Morning, morning Moon, Christy Cox. This infectious, up-tempo song is the third single from Christie's seventh album, Shades of Blue, which is nominated later this evening for Traditional Country Album of the Year. This win takes Christie's golden guitar tally to six. I love bluegrass music, that's no secret. Um, I first, I want to thank my husband first up because I forgot last time. <laughs> and uh, that resulted in me having to let him name our child and I don't want any more children. So um, <laughs> thank you, Travis, <laughs> for everything. You, uh, you are an amazing husband and I love you more than, well, not more than our children, but I love you a lot. So. Uh, I, um, Adelaide and Ryman, our beautiful babies, there back in Nashville, and um, I told Jess to wake them up at two o'clock in the morning to watch this. She probably didn't, but uh, that's okay. I understand. They don't go back to sleep. So, uh, Jessica Foster for watching my babies, their auntie for watching them, so that I could fly over here for four days and go back home. Uh, the Weeping Willows, I love you. You two are two of my best friends, and. Um, you were nominated in this category twice, and I said that you were going to win this, and if you did, then uh, I was going to run around the car park naked. So <laughs> I'm kind of glad that, that you didn't win in one way. But uh, you're winners in my eyes, and I love you both a lot. Uh, my producer, Jerry Sally, who's produced seven of my albums. Uh, my manager, Norval McLean, and his beautiful partner, Lorraine. My parents, um, I've forgotten people. My band, my band in America, my band here in Australia. Um, I know I've forgotten people, but I did not think I was going to win this tonight, so thank you so much. This means a lot. I love bluegrass, I love banjo, I love fiddle, and I love the Australian country music industry for, for acknowledging bluegrass pickers because they really are some of the best. And um, Thank you. Thanks, everyone.
Well, that's the new ear hook for me to drive home to. I want to get to know you. That's going to be stuck in my head along with, whoa, oh. So I'm going to write my own song on the way home. And next year, I'm going to have a song called, I want to get to, oh, we'll know ya. <laughs> Vote for it, everybody, please. And uh, that was a quick look back at the last few days of the 2023 Tamworth Country Music Festival, presented, of course, by our good friends and supporters, Toyota. How great is it to see the festival back and pumping? Make some noise for that. <laughs> our next performers are good friends of mine, in fact, actually. I just, I missed their speech earlier, but I was having a chat with them. Um, and Adam told me he knows someone that can get me a tractor. Is that right? <laughs> Brooke said, you have to get a tractor. It's going to save your marriage. So, honey, we're getting a tractor. <laughs> she thinks my tractor's sexy. <laughs> the next performers are a dynamic husband and wife duo. You all know who they are. They have a bumper four nominations tonight to add to their already impressive career tally. Here with a chart-topping first single off the highly anticipated second album. Give it up for Brooke McClymont and Adam Eckersley with Star of the Show. She's loud and 
she's crazy But that's how we've raised her to be Cause she wakes up first in the morning She always beats the early birds calling When the sun shines so bright like a spotlight through her window Songs on piano, we lie here and smile with our heads on the pillow. Cause these are the times we love and cherish the more. Cause our toys and our teddies, they're all dressed and lined up in rows. And one day we hope the world sees what She is a star of the show She is a star of the show What a stunning performance. What a beautiful family. <laughs> God, I wish the star of our show at four o'clock that in this morning was that, sounded that beautiful. Star of my show at four o'clock this morning went, Aah! Again, sorry, everybody. Hey, I didn't say I was the host with the most. I'm the host that was available, <laughs> all right? <laughs> of course, Brooke and Adam are up for group or duo and song of the year a little later this evening. One more round of applause for them. <laughs> Our next award is another big one, the Alt Country Album of the Year. And to present it, he is a singer-songwriter, musician, and hosted our red carpet event earlier this evening and hit us with the hard questions. Please welcome the outlaw country rocker, Henry Waggins. Thank you. It's such a, a pleasure and an honor to be here. And it's even better to have spoken to so many of the amazing nominees tonight, person, in person grilling them on the red carpet. Everyone looked beautiful. My eyes are still recovering, not only from my own jacket, the bedazzlement, the bright bolos, the adorned akubras, sequins galore, everyone, with a couple exceptions, <laughs> looked beautiful. <laughs> Which brings me to alt country. It ain't beautiful. It's ugly. You like your country dirty, obtuse, alternative countries wild and punk. And when done well, it pushes the boundaries of what country music could be. Here are the nominees. Alt Country Album of the Year. Dead Men Tell No Tales. Alison Forbes, produced by Matt Fell. Dead men tell no tales, they get left in the brain, never to defend. Strength of a Queen, Andy Gollidge, produced by John Vella and Ryan Miller. Somebody rescue me, somebody rescue me. Tug of War, Jenny Mitchell, produced by Matt Fell. We all go fishing till we're sick of Looks Like Heaven, Kim Cheshire, produced by Rod McCormack. Oh, oh, looks like heaven with a pretty little river running down to the sea. Oh, oh, looks like heaven, it looks like heaven. 
You Reap What You Sow, The Weeping Willows, produced by Andrew Wigglesworth and Laura Coates. But your dreams are gonna die, die down in the house of sin. And the golden guitar for Alt Country Album of the Year goes to... Looks Like Heaven, Kim Chefjir. <laughs> Produced by Rod McCormack. Kim Cheshire, voice of Alt Country pioneers, the Danglin Brothers, and 90s golden guitar winners, The Wheel, reminds us that it's all about the quality of the songs and the performances on his album, Looks Like Heaven. Produced by Rod McCormack, this is Kim's first new album in 10 years. This is Kim's first golden guitar win as a solo artist and the ninth golden guitar win for Rod. Wow, this is amazing. I don't think I've been on this stage for 25 years, but it's nice to be here. But, and I like Keith Richards says, at my age, it's nice to be anywhere. <laughs> now, I just want to say before I start thanking people, I really want to say the most exciting thing for me this year in Tamworth is that Lauren Ryan won Star Maker. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful thing? I really loved it. I'm going to have to put this down, Rod, because I've got oh, stuff written down. This looks kind of daunting. I've got all these sheets of paper. It's just big writing. <laughs> I'm old. Okay, firstly, I'd like to thank Merrill and everyone here at the Golden Guitars and my fellow nominees, of course, and the people who voted for me. Um, yeah, I should tell you that my first band uh, was when I was 12 years old. It was 1964. And I had my 71st birthday just about four days ago. I think it was four days ago. 17th. So uh, don't throw in the towel, anyone. Hang in there. It'll work in the end. Now, I never intended to make this album. Um, I had a few songs I hadn't recorded uh, over the years, and uh, I just thought I wouldn't mind recording them. So I called up Rod and said, uh, you interested in recording these tunes? And uh, he said, yeah, come down. Let's have some fun. I'll lock out a few days at the studio. And so I went down. Uh, we recorded uh, those first, I think, the three songs I had, and we did them in a day and a half. And he said, I've locked out the studio, mate. You know, you got any more songs? And so I said, uh, yeah, I'll see what I can find. Well, I found a few more. They went down quick. It kept going on like that for about four days. And uh, he said, Kim, I think you've got a new album. And that was it. That was how I had this album. I never intended to make an album at all. I was happily living up, uh, growing vegetables and looking after my animals and living the rural life. But, um, okay, now I should thank, um, firstly, I'd like to thank my lovely wife and my best friend, Anna, my gorgeous daughter, Polly, and my boy, Johnny, for putting up with me all these years, because it's a challenge living with someone as single-minded and as philosophically uncompromising as me. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Now, next... The main person I want to thank here for making this record is this guy standing next to me. Yeah. I've been in two bands with this guy, the Danglin Brothers and The Wheel. We've been friends for 35 years. We've had a great relationship. He's still my dear friend. Uh, I love him dearly, along with his beautiful wife, Gina, his brother, uh, his, his, uh, uh, and Jackie, sorry, Jackie too, their son. His brother, Jeff, and his wife, Chris, and their parents, Jim and Wendy McCormack. They're beautiful people, and they've been so generous to me for so many years. I want to thank all the musicians who contributed to this album. I want to thank my co-writers, Kevin Bennett, Carol Young, dear friends also. Uh, I want to thank Jules Delamere from Wild Heart Publicity. Without Jules, you wouldn't have even heard of this album. So thank you, Jules. I really love you, Jules. 
Uh, I want to thank my mum and dad, George and Beryl Wright, who, without whose discouragement in my youth I would never have been so determined. <laughs> so thanks, mum and dad. They're long gone now, but uh, I love them dearly. And lastly, I would like to thank uh, and dedicate this award to my fellow Northern Rivers singer-songwriter and precious friend, Sarah Tindley, who we lost last week. Oh, breaks my heart. Now, I'd like to thank all the wonderful musicians, singers, producers, far too many to mention here, who have ever helped to bring my songs to life over the 58 years of my adventures in music. Music is always a collaborative effort, or as my mate and incredible musical talent Gary Steele likes to say, music is a conversation. I will remain forever grateful. Bless you all. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. I just, I just quickly want to say that uh, getting, getting to record with Kim, we've made beautiful music together for, as you said, several decades, and uh, it's always a treat. And we formed bands so that we could play with Kim a couple of times over. And uh, it's a treat. We're really, really grateful to everybody involved, the musicians. We had some incredible players who contributed. Um, everyone who's involved, special shout out to my beautiful wife, Gina, and all my family who put up with us. As Shane said so well before, we're just mentally absent while we're recording, and that's, uh, that's what they put up with. So thank you. Love you lots. And uh, thanks, everybody. term I've heard a couple of times tonight. I just want to thank my wife for putting up with me being mentally absent all the time. <laughs> Our next performer is a five-time Golden Guitar winner. He's nominated this evening for Bush Ballad of the Year. He's country through and through. As we say, his country is cow shit. <laughs> Please welcome Dean Parrott. <laughs> By a bushman with lifetime experience I see the young With a thirst for knowledge That comes from hands-on work out in the bush They learn fast In a cattle country college Lessons you won't learn from any book Riding high beneath the sky
There you go, one more time for Dean Parent, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody still feeling good here at Trek tonight? This side over here, feeling good? Everyone at the back feeling good? Well, you're closest to the bar, I can smell it. I hear it. I mean, no, it's good. Over here, everyone's feeling good? Everybody on the floor, all right? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Our next two presenters, or our next presenters, they are two top blokes. They are, in fact, if he's here, he should be hosting. What am I doing here? Our first presenter is one of country's great singer-songwriters having released 19 studio albums. I can only wish that I can get that far into my career. And taken out 14 golden guitars over a stellar career. One of my favourites. The other presenter is another top Aussie songwriter and instrumentalist who has five golden guitars at home on his mantle. Please welcome a 2016 role of renown inductee, Graham Connors and country music's comic larrikin, Pete Dennehy. much folks. Now Graham, you are without a doubt a master songwriter and you've written so many songs, butte songs which we used to sing in our family band too. Uh, got two questions for you. Why do you keep writing and what makes you keep writing? Well I guess I love keeping appointments. Oh, yeah. yeah and the kitchen table every morning around 5.30 has been an appointment for a long time. I just sit there and hope that the perfect song is going to float by that particular day. Mm. Yeah, the perfect song. I've written some uh, perfect award-losing songs <laughs> over the years, and I've built a career on that, so I'm so glad I didn't win to a golden guitar Listen tonight. Listen here. No, don't know nothing is the perfect song. Oh, thanks, Graham. <laughs> Thank you. Smooth, Graham. Eh? Well, let's take a look at the five nominees vying for the perfect Heritage Song of the Year. Heritage Song of the Year. I'm Coming Home. Written by Amber Lawrence and Katrina Burgoyne. Recorded by Amber Lawrence. Tell the world, tell the world I'm coming home to the countries and the land that's in my bloodstream. Listen to the country. Written and recorded by Angus Gill and Kevin Bennett. Country. Listen to the country. It's telling you the truth. Bog Swamp. Written by Josh Cunningham. Recorded by Felicity Urquhart and Josh Cunningham. On the track, on the track, on the trail. Reaching like a hobo when he hears that whistle. Come Together, written by Lee Kernigan, Mitch Tambo, Isaiah Firebrace, Nicholas Wolfe, Colin Buchanan and Garth Porter. Recorded by Lee Kernigan, Mitch Tambo and Isaiah Firebrace. South East Queensland, written by Luke O'Shea, Fred Smith and Mitchell Lynham. Recorded by Luke O'Shea. 24 good men, got so damn heavy. Uh, we flip the coin here. I'm doing heritage. Got the old reject shop glasses on for this one. Four bucks, not bad. And the golden guitar for heritage song of the year goes to <laughs> Southeast Queensland, written by Luke O'Shea. Written with young farmer Mitch Lyman and inspired by the writing of Fred Smith, the song shines a light on the many Australian Defence Force recruits hailing from the South East Queensland region and what happens when they return from duty. This win takes Luke's golden guitar tally to 16. In the valleys of Isn't he a handsome young man, ladies and gentlemen? It's Lena. You're killing me. All right. It's funny, people go, do you want to prepare a speech? And I always thought the best ones are always honest. So, um, 
for me, I said this earlier, this song was about fate for me. Um, I was driving home when I recorded my first single, listening to Luke O'Shea's album, and Stronger Than Nicotine was the first song I'd ever heard of him that he had ever written. And then I realised I wanted to write a song with Luke O'Shea, Brad Butcher, and Graham Connors. So to get this handed to me by Graham Connors is just blown me away. So thank you very much. So I talk about fate. So the DAG retreat, which Johnny K runs, which is an amazing spot. Luke has to pick out numbers out of a hat, and I'm sitting there, and I go, all right, I've just driven seven hours to write a song with Luke. Here we go. Fingers are crossed. Bang, first name, Mitch Lynham. That was it. I was done for the whole retreat, and that was all I wanted. So I'm putting this, this down to fate. And for anyone else out there, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Opportunities will arise just like this. So thank you very much. And this song sat for four years as a voice memo on my phone. And I've current, currently stepped away from music a lot. So I could never do justice that Luke has done with this song. So thank you very much for taking me on the ride. It's beautiful. So thank you very much, Luke. So now you can speak. <laughs> Let's drum up some business. You're a horse breaker in South, go, South East Queensland in Gatton, yeah? yeah that's Got it. any good horses? Forget Tom Curtin. There you go, to this boat. <laughs> uh, stick far away. Uh, look, firstly, I just want to say thank you to, uh, to Tamworth, to the council, to Toyota, for giving us this night and this stage to showcase songs like this that mean so much to us and to me in particular. I made mention before of uh, Fred Smith and his contributions to his, his, uh, his magnificent album, Dust of Years Gun, and uh, we derived a lot of inspiration from that, but also for the veterans and the soldiers that are out there still doing the tough gigs and still suffering, and I won't talk too much more about that. I really do want to focus on the people that help record it and make it just uh, the impact that it has been. And uh, connects with you, uh, working with Matt Fell once again, co-producing this track, and working with... Uh, so many fantastic musicians on the drums, um, Glenn Wilson, guitars, Benji Pocock, absolute legend. Um, and uh, some magnificent string arrangements, with Robbie Long and the Sydney String Ensemble. And um, there's, there's obviously people I forgot, Beck Gracie who handles the publicity and helps me get this stuff out there. Uh, Will Oslin with Czech Label, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Um, pushing your own cart gets pretty tiring sometimes, but when you've got these guys in the corner, it really does kick you along. And uh, telling our stories is, uh, is something that really means a lot to me. And um, thank you once again for this honour, for putting your name next to ours. And um, it's, it means a hell of a lot. So uh, to my beautiful wife, Lizzie, mum, to our, my dad, uh, and uh, all you guys look after us. Thank you so much. Taking too much time congratulating these very worthy winners. The next award we are presenting is for Bush Ballad of the Year. And this is a genre dear to my heart. Worked with the great, late, great Slim Dusty for so many years and a genre that's really thriving. Uh, there's certainly an interesting mix in the final no nominees this year, Graham. Yes, and uh, let's take a look at those five wonderful nominees. Bush Ballad of the Year. Sometimes It's Your Job. Written by Alan Caswell, Manfred Vishars and Lindsay Waddington. Recorded by Alan Caswell. Sometimes it's your job. Sometimes it's your best and yet it's still... Ghostly Gums. Written by Kath Stewart, David Carter, Angela Bristow Bowham, and Andy Penko. Recorded by Andy Penko. An extra pond, the lines there on his face. Waiting for the Boss. Written by Angus Gill, Alan Mackey, and Mary O'Brien. Recorded by Angus Gill, featuring Anne Kirkpatrick. Waiting for the boss, that voice the call. Out on Kalani. Written and recorded by Dean Parrott. Out there on Kalani, 
living out the dream. They love the sand of horse sweat. Family Tree, written by Rod McCormack, Diane Lindsay and Peter Simpson, recorded by Diane Lindsay. Branches on our family tree. And the gold guitar for 2023 for Bush Ballad of the Year goes to Out on the Kalani, written and recorded by Dean Parent. Over the last 32 years, Dean has earned his place as one of Australia's favourite Bush Balladeers. He's released 17 albums with his latest album, Kind Seasons, highlighting Dean's dedication to traditional country music. This win takes Dean's golden guitar career tally to six. <laughs> now you all know I shake in the voice as it is, and I've never got used to it, have I? <laughs> but um, I'd just like to uh, dedicate this to the ringers on Kalani Station, <laughs> Northern Territory. <laughs> uh, to Jumbuck Pastoral Company and um, actually a big thank you to the beautiful footage that you saw behind my performance uh, was actually filmed by uh, Matt Woods for R.M. Williams Outback magazine. And uh, so they all uh, made sure we had that great footage for you tonight. So a big thank you to them. <laughs> Watto, where are you, mate? <laughs> great production by Lindsay Waddington at his studio. So thanks, mate. You've... <clears throat> Above and beyond the call of duty there and uh, these old... Uh, ringers over here that rode the instruments. <laughs> uh, Brendan Radford there and Michelle Rose, also uh, Michael Vidal and Dougie Gallagher. Yeah. Thanks to you blokes. It's great. Uh, also uh, Will Osland and uh, as Luke said before, you know, he, he gets the word out there and uh, so big thanks to Will. My beautiful wife, Camille. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, All or Nothing, Adam Brand. Conceived and recorded during lockdown, Brand's 16th studio album tells something of his own story and mirrors the challenging times we live in. It features singles, Still the One, I'm Coming Home, and the chart-topping single, All or Nothing. It's still ringing my ears of lessons learned. All or Nothing is a significant new addition to the Adam Brand canon, continuing to build on an impressive catalogue. Over an already stellar career, Adam Brand has won 12 Golden Guitars and has been nominated for six ARIA awards across 15 studio records. He has three platinum and five gold albums. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, All or Nothing, Adam Brand. Unfortunately, uh, Adam Brand couldn't be with us this evening, but we wish him all the best for Toyota Album of the Year later tonight. Well, this next performer, I just want to say something really quick. Uh, we've been mates a long time, and every time she mentions her husband, Trav, people think I'm married to her. I don't own the name Travis. There are more than one Travis in the world. But shout out to Trav List over there in Nashville. Hope to have a beer with you soon, mate. This next performer is a bluegrass sweetheart, not only here but in the US where she now lives with her husband, Travis. 
and their beautiful children. Her latest album, Shades of Blue, debuted at number two on the Bluegrass Billboard chart. If you don't think that's a big deal, get on Google and check it out. And she is nominated for Traditional Album of the Year coming up soon. Please welcome, with her winning song, Christy Cox. I was just backstage and a well-known character in this business who wears Larry jackets came up to me and said, you should try wearing one of my... Well, he said, you should try wearing one of my jackets. <laughs> and now I... Oh, here he comes. Shit. So now, double the jackets, double the fun. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm turning into a Doberman. Everyone be careful, the use of stove lighting. No, hang on, we'll keep, we'll keep it moving. I, I don't know, I, I think I have a little bit uh, to fill this jacket out. It's time for the third and final genre album of, genre album award to present traditional country album of the year. Please welcome the fantastic Dobe Newton and Roger Corbett from the Bushwhackers. Oh, you look good in that, mate. <laughs> good day, folks, and how thrilled are we to be here? Yeah. Yes. And good to see you keeping up your uh, costuming there, Dobe, and Thank you. just mix and matching your colours as usual. <laughs> Where, as usual, we've had a wonderful time. We've been uh, doing the academy, and a big shout out to anybody who ever attended the academy. 
and the college and the junior academy. Now there's lots of you out there. We've had a great time. And we're honoured to present this award, which personally means so much to us as artists. A traditional country music album draws from the styles and influences of previous musical generations. The musical settings are influ influenced by subgenres like Western swing, folk, classic country, 70s outlaw music, bush ballad, bluegrass, and Celtic based bush music that we've been playing for so many years since the 1950s. Well, we haven't been playing that long, but uh -huh. pretty long. The songs on these albums and, and streams are often referencing the heritage of our land and our people. But the thing that's inspiring is to see so many of our new country music artists interpreting that musical legacy in their, uh, <laughs> sorry, in their own and exciting ways. The essence of that tradition you would have walked past this evening because that's referenced on the role of Renown Park out front. And that's what this award is all about, honouring that tradition. So let's take a look at this year's finalists. Traditional country album of the year. In the moment, Ashley Dallas, produced by Brett Dallas. The biggest prize. I know that the one she is looking upon is the same. Dry Season, Blake Dantia, produced by Simon Johnson. Raise a glass and don't say you win. Shades of Blue, Christy Cox, produced by Jerry Sally. Good morning. Mr. Good Time, Michael Carpenter and the Banks Brothers, produced by Michael Carpenter. Travelling Heart, TC Cassidy, produced by Angus Gill. Well, it ain't too late to start again, it's time that I get going. And the golden guitar for traditional country album of the year goes to In the Moment by Ashley Dallas. In the Moment is Ashley's fifth album and was produced by her father, Brett Dallas. This album is also nominated for Toyota Album of the Year later tonight. This win takes Ashley's golden guitar career tally to five and Brett's to two. And we understand all that you do. The no we would trade every dollar made to be under the moon. We could go and live simply. Take out. Oh, well, this uh, record has meant so much to make uh, and the songs on this, I really need to thank first and foremost, um, my girls, Harriet and my beautiful little Lillian. They've made me um, show up every day to try and be a better person and to try and be kind and they've actually made myself be a bit kinder on me as well and I just want them to know that they can be anything. Leads me to my hubby, Kiwi. Thank you, darling, for all of your support. You have to hear these songs at the kitchen bench over and over again. And then that leads me to mum, because she has to hear them as well when dad and I go and make a record. And often dad and I walk out of the room and we're like, mum, come down and listen. She's like, I've heard it. <laughs> 
So thank you, Mum. The musicians who played on this album, Adam McCann and my big brother, Lindsay Dallas. There's a lot of family involved in this and it really means so much for every single note you play, it's played from here. We're all music lovers and that's the best thing about what we get to do together. Also, Vaughan Jones played on this album. Um, Jeff McCormack for his work. Uh, Will Oslin at Czech Label Services for getting it out and supporting me over the last 10 years with my career. Beck Gracie, our country journo. Beck Gracie Publicity. Thank you for all of the phone calls and we live five minutes apart and often the three hour catch ups. And when you're doing my presses, you're holding my kids and being there for all of us. We really appreciate you're part of the team. Um, I'm probably am gonna forget people, but it leads me to say, the other person who played so many songs on, uh, so many instruments on this album, because he's extremely talented, is my dad, Brett Dallas. To have my dad um, work with me and produce these records is just amazing. Um, talking about traditions, it all started with our granddad, Rex Dallas, dad's dad. And um, my dad is just so talented. He's written some of these songs with me as well. And again, he's taught me the art of a story in music. He used to tell me as a kid when I'd sing a song, he'd really say, Ash, what's that song about? because if you don't know what it's really about, you won't be able to ever perform it properly to your audience. And I think he takes that in with every note that he plays on those instruments and he's crafted this record and I couldn't have done it without him and I just love that I get to do it with you. <laughs> Clearly I got the talking gene. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, whoops, I've done what Dobe did. I'm catching up to you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd just like to reiterate everything that Ashley said there and um, a big thank you to Lindsay, Adam, um, Vaughan Jones, yes, and Jeff McCormack for his wonderful mastering that he's done. He's mastered every album of Ashley's since we started from when she was 15, from the first time I recorded her, and, um, and even through when she went to a company there for a little while, before she come back. <laughs> yeah, but, and I'd like to thank the CMAA. Yes, and, and everybody that voted and all the other um, nominees in this category. Um, it really means a lot to win this, and um, it was tough conversation competition I do acknowledge yeah so thank you very much she's a bit of a softy <laughs> and he's a bloody legend That's match made in heaven now during the uh, awards, there's an award which isn't a gold guitar, but it's a really, really special award. And it was first presented in 2006, and it honours the history of excellence in musicianship and superior instrumental skill. Sometimes, the winner of this award will share the spotlight, but most often they're in the background making the rest of us all look better and sound better on stage and in the studio. This year's recipient was born in the rural country town of Corn in South Australia, and he grew up listening to his dad's Johnny Cash and Willen and Whalen records. He won his first contest at the age of eight 
and began playing the guitar when he saw Bill Chambers play a very long time ago. He was a precocious talent and he toured Europe when he was 12 years old playing with a number of Australian country artists. Roger and I first met him when he attended the second country music college, as it was called then, in 1998. And his superior playing and instrumental skills was obvious even then. He dropped out of high school. He moved to Texas to study bluegrass at South Plains College. One of his teachers gave him his first break and recommended him to audition for Patty Loveless, who was a star at the time, and he co-wrote and toured with her for two years. His very first gig in Nashville was at the Grand Old Opry. So he was on the way. Made an album called High Lonesome from it that was in 2004, and Transcontinental won him the Golden Guitar for Best New Talent in 2005. His growing reputation saw him join Emmy Lou Harris and Rodney Crowell as the lead guitarist for the tour of their Grammy winning album Old Yellow Moon. I'm sure a lot of you've got it, just like me. In constant demand as a musician writer, he's collaborated and performed with the cream of country and Americana, including names we all know, and we just saw him recently on YouTube, Vince Gill, Jeff Tweedy, Je Jerry Douglas, Sam Bush, Dirk Bentley, Brandy Clark, Brandy Carlisle, Buddy Miller, Sting, Joe Walsh, Sarah Jerish, and Chris Stapleton. He's been, had a long journey, not without its pitfalls and challenges, but he's risen above all to become one of Nashville's most respected and sought after musicians and producers, I have to say, and an eagerly awaited solo album will be released later this year. And we'd like to announce that the 2023 CMAA Musician of the Year is Jed Hughes. <laughs> Hello Australia, Jed Hughes here. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much for thinking of me for this year's Musician of the Year. Um, that's really cool. I'm really honoured, touched. Um, you know, I grew up in South Australia and um, there was a really great community of of musicians that encouraged me and helped me when I was starting out. And um, uh, I want to thank just a few people from early on, um, the Dead Ringer Band, Kim and Trev Warner, um, Rod Coe, Barry Thornton, who was um, really good to me, Stewie French, and I want to say thank you to Tanya Kernigan for giving me my first gig when I was 16. Um, pulling me out of high school. I appreciate that. So far, so good. <laughs> um, anyway, I wish I was there to celebrate with everybody tonight. Um, but I am there in spirit and in heart. And um, thank you again for, uh, for this great award. I very much appreciate it. Big love to you all. Oh, well, on to a more serious matter, a bit of a somber note. Over the past 12 months, many in our industry have sadly passed and we now take this moment to acknowledge um, their presence, their contribution to country music, everything they've done for the growth of country music across this nation and across the world. Somewhere 
This is pure and simple And you must realize That it's coming from my heart And not my head I love you I honestly love you one of my favourite voices in country music. Of course, that was the amazing Melinda Schneider, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful performance. Our next presenters have already been up here this evening and need no further introduction. Settle down over there. Is everybody still feeling good with us tonight? Good. To present new talent of the year, please welcome Brooke McClymont and tractor Adam Eckersley. amazing night already. Now I've just got to say quickly, this is a very fitting award for us to present. Hang Having on. Having our daughter up here tonight with us, we very much hope that Tiggy is here in this category in some years to come. Tiggs, we yes. love you. That was very, very cool. Baby um, and anyone that knows Brooke and I know that we're very immature. Very, very dirty. <laughs> I wasn't even going there. Well, I did. I was, Sorry. I was going to say, we love hanging out with new talent. That's it, right. Because it makes us feel like the age that we actually act, which is young, like a couple of enthusiastic teenagers. Oh, do you want to act like no, a couple of enthusiastic no, teenagers you know now, what? honey? It's, if we're roll. lying, it's absolute BS and nothing's happening tonight. Because I know it's if retired. You're if you're lucky, you feel like Oh, it. if I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, anyway, there's never been... There's never been a more exciting time to be in the, our industry. The new talent is nuts. It's on fire and we're excited. Hope you guys are excited. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look at the five nominees vying for new talent of the year. New talent of the year. 
Blake Dantia. The man that brought us here. No Christmas or birthday would be the same again for years. No matter when it happened, it would always be. Cass Hopeton. Shame, shame, no matter what I do, no matter what I do. From an innocent victim. Johnny's whispers. Whispers. James Johnston. In the winner for 2023 Best New Talent goes to James Johnson! Based country boy James Johnston certainly knows how to make a lasting impression with audiences. From his debut Aria Gold single Raised Like That, clocking up over 16 million streams to date, to his second single Small Town, taking the number one spot on country radio for 10 consecutive weeks. With a massive six nominations this evening, this is James's second win, taking his golden guitar career tally to two. Well, this is pretty damn cool. I have to say, in this room tonight are just so many of my heroes. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for inspiring a young kid from the bush to follow his dream. Thank you, guys. There are so many people to thank. Um, I just want to also extend that and just say thank you, everybody, for kind of welcoming me welcoming me into this industry, you know, Brooke and Adam, you guys have been incredible, and just so many people have felt, you know, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> this is what I love about country music, all right, these guys are the best, <laughs> I, I want to say again to my wife, I, I a couple of years back, I said, <laughs> Segwaying from what we're going to, you know, no, no, no. I'll leave the dirty stuff up to you guys. Let's keep it clean. G-rated here. Um, it's my wife. A few years back, I said, I, said, I want to quit my job and I want to chase this dream of country music. And you never question that. And you're in my corner the whole time. And I want to say thank you for that. Yeah, thank you very much. About six years ago, I, uh, I was playing a gig and I met this young fella and about five minutes after I met him, I called my mum and I said, mum, I just met my future manager. It took us about four years until we finally jumped in the deep end. But, mate, thank you so much, Bo Thomas, for just doing everything that you do. Um, thank you for the, the fire phone calls a day that I make to you with some crazy new idea that I'm coming up with. So you're a legend. Thank you, mate. Um, also, I just want to say a huge thank you to, uh, to Dan Biddle, Jules Delamere. You guys have been pushing my songs out to the world. Thank you so much. Um, Kerry, Kerry Roberts. Kerry Roberts is somebody that I have to say a huge thank you to. She's a lady that she's been in my corner for many years, and I think I probably sent her 100 songs, and she said, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. And one day she said... Yeah, I think you've done it. And I just want to say thank you, Kerry, for just your honesty and, and just kind of making me truly just work harder to find that song. So thank you, Kerry. And uh, last but not least, Bo and I said when we started this journey, we said, 
let's put the fans first, make them number one. And this whole time and every decision we make, that's how we, we think about it. And if it wasn't for you guys showing up to the gigs, you know, grabbing the merch, you know, waiting in line just to come and say, say g'day, none of this is possible. You know, none of this is possible. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been in my corner. This one's for you. I love you guys. Thank you. Well done, mate. Called it the after party last year. I said, yeah, you'll have a trophy next year. And I'm uh, really, really proud to see not just James, but the emerging talent coming through Australian country music at the moment is deeper and healthier than it's ever been. And I think that's the, uh, that's the face of it right there. And we've got so much more to come. The future of country music is safe. <laughs> Our next performer is never one to shy away from uncomfortable truths. In fact, the great Elvis Presley once said, if something is too dangerous to say, you should sing it. Here with his winning song tonight, his first single from the highly anticipated upcoming album is Luke O'Shea with South East Queensland. There's no airport in Kandahar Got ten days leave, I just want to go home Holding back the Taliban Fighting over dust and sand Means fuck all to me, I just want to go home Home To South East Queensland I joined the big 2 CR Where I was trained up sharp As a first class sap always in the front of the line There ain't no reprieve When you're singing out the ideas It's just you In your armour and a land from another time So far from home South So far from home That is the nearest girl We lost 24 million That's so damn heavy Don't know how I survived Stood out in that sun Slouching out in guns And with the flag on the casket We flew Brother back So one way track I'm so lost now I don't know if I'll ever be
Lucochet there. <laughs> well, it has come to that time of the night where we find out whose name will be set in stone right outside this very venue for the 2023 Australasian Country Music Roll of Renown inductee. They don't get any bigger than this, folks. These are not easy to get. To make this presentation, we welcome the chairman of the Roll of Renown Independent Selection Panel and the awards and festival pioneer, Max Ellis, along with much loved and admired 2016 Roll inductee, Graham Connors. Welcome, Graham. Hello, everyone. It's great to see such a fantastic crowd for such a great event. Ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome to you. Thank you very yeah, much. I've had, a, I've had a, a generic uh, moment, I think. That's not a problem at all. No, that is. It's isn't. just that the, the, the script was to say something along the lines I of Hi, Max. It's great to be here at my second home, That's right. Tamworth. So it is. I wrote that this afternoon. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Graham, uh, you were elevated to the role of renown way back in 2016, and I remember that night very well because it was the first time we had presented the role of renown at the awards for some years. It was, and it was very special for me mm. because having a large audience to actually. Uh, finally say thank you to so many people over so many years. That's what the role of renown is about, the opportunity for a specific artist to thank those who have assisted them to get as far as they have. Hmm. Well, look, uh, the winner of this year's star maker, Lauren Ryan, someone else mentioned it a bit earlier, but uh, at her inauguration earlier this week, she sang a song called Bounce Back. And I can't get the words out of my head. But it wasn't written about our festival, of course. But uh, it says all about this year's festival, in my opinion. Do you agree with me? Well, I do. I do. Because I, I keep thinking we've had a fairly difficult period. And I keep thinking how Tamworth, the community of Tamworth and the Australian mm. country music community have been united for so long. And there are so many other festivals out there trying to take attention to various uh, forms mm, of music. True. But how Tamworth is really the, the centre of all genres. Everyone gets an opportunity in Tamworth. And I think it's really important that we, in a sense, reconnect to the spirit of Tamworth, all artists, young and not so, and see Tamworth into the next 20, 50 years as the spiritual heart of Australian country music. Yeah. Well, I certainly agree with that. And I think one of the things that's very notable, noticeable about these awards is that most of the winners are much younger than you and I, Graham. <laughs> I don't think we'll get any golden guitars, it's or I won't anyway. You might. It's the natural progression, <laughs> Max. <laughs> Friends, uh, the role of renown was started by Radio 2TM as a recognition of individuals or groups who have made a lasting and significant contribution to Australasian country music. And it was inaugurated in 1976 with the father of our country music, the great Tex Morton, and his plaques and others were placed on the granite boulders which stand outside Trek at the moment. Tonight's winner will be the 54th person to be honoured. Graham, uh, do you think you could do the honours, please, and uh, tell us Max, who that person is? It is my pleasure to announce that the 2023 inductee for the role of renown is a very deserving voice in the Australian songwriting and music industry, part of that great Australian songversation. And it's none other than Colin Buchanan. Colin was born in Dublin, Ireland, and came to Australia as a child in the mid-60s. In his early 20s, he and wife Robin moved to Burke in outback New South Wales. There, he was inspired by the music of John Williamson, an experience he says 
changed his life. There's some ripping yarns to spin if you could spare a minute of your time. In 1992, Collins shot to prominence, winning Best New Talent in Tamworth with his album Galahs in the Gigi. Launched as a singer-songwriter, he was soon collaborating on career-making songs with artists like Lee Kernighan, Troy Cassadaly and Becky Cole. His extraordinary ability to paint a picture, capture a mood or tell a story in song has influenced a generation of our country stars. Housewives, cooks, mothers and daughters too. Winning nine golden guitars and many other awards, his talent with songs and lyrics is matched by his charisma and versatility. He starred on ABC's Play School, later with Disney Playhouse, and has appeared on ABC Radio, hosted Qantas In-Flight Audio, co-hosted Toyota Outback Club, Carols in the Domain, and compared the Golden Guitar Awards. His Aussie Christmas albums with Greg Champion are gold and platinum sellers, while his Christian and children's albums cater for huge audiences around the world. Watch this country grow Colin Buchanan, the 2023 Roll of Renown inductee, is a talented entertainer and songwriter whose heart lies firmly in Australian country. Thank you very much. Wow. Um, that's, uh, that's quite remarkable. Like many who've uh, stood here this evening, I've got many, many friends, um, uh, past and present, uh, over many years. So I'm, uh, uh, I'm just greatly honoured and delighted. Performed at the Tamworth Town Hall uh, last week with Amber Lawrence. And that was the, the first gig I ever did at uh, Tamworth. I played the local district show with the CMAA band because I won a talent quest. I played it too fast, so apologies uh, to those people who were there. And um, it really, you know, I didn't know anything about music because I just r was inspired by the people who had gone before me to... Uh, I remember saying to John Williamson once, uh, you write this... You write the music that you love, or you know that that inspires you. you, you that's what you want to write. And uh, I'll never forget what John said to me. He said, "Yeah," <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. You know, <laughs> that's right. Um, uh, Robin, uh, you sneaky. Uh, my wife, Robin. I said, "Did you know about this?" And she said, "Yes, I did." And. Uh, <laughs> So uh, wives have featured prominently tonight and, uh, and husbands, partners, people who love us, family. And um, so I recognise Robin's great contribution because it is a dream to be able to do what we do, isn't it? It's, um, and, it and it's so much hard work for the people who um, support, support us. So thank you to Robin, Elliot and, and his wife, Claire, who live in the UK. He was a tiny baby when... Uh, I won my first golden guitar, and um, uh, and little Rupert, I'm a grandfather now, and um, uh, Laura and Tim Finley and Elsie Bubbles, um, uh, Emily and Harry and um, Riley and Casey, that's my family, and that's who's put me here. It's, it's really interesting that Graham handed me this, because two Grahams worked for a publishing company in Sydney, and Graham Connors... Uh, departed to, to, he had an appointment with the kitchen table and, uh, and went on to record North and all those great albums and, and, and his songwriting career launched. But just before he left, he heard a tape from a young bloke from Burke, um, Galaz in the Gidgee and a couple of other songs, and he said, I think this would be something that we could record. And um, then he was, Graham Thompson took over and... Um, uh, and, and made it possible for me to record. Um, John Kane, 
was the man who handed that cassette to, uh, to Graham. And, and I would not be standing here if it wasn't for John Kane um, listening to that music. So I, I'm very, very grateful to John who, who produced uh, my first couple of albums. Um, thank you to all those artists who I've been able to collaborate with. I, I told Lee Kernigan when he said, let's write a song together, I said, I don't do that. I, I just don't know how to write a song with anyone else. I just, you've just got to be where the lightning strikes. Often when the babies are in the bath and the toast is burning, you know, and, uh, um, and uh, he said, no, 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 I, I, and he, he said, I'll, I'll, have a, I'll have a can of Coke and a Mars bar there, and so I thought, well, that, that's worth it at least to go for those, and, um, and we wrote She's My Ute, which uh, I, was, I still remember uh, um, uh, Rob, um, you know, oh, I'm getting old now, but uh, anyway. I was told later, hey, I saw uh, Lee do that Ute song you wrote together and it really, uh, it was, th th they liked it. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that was a great thrill and, and we went on to collaborate together over many years. So thank you to Lee and to Garth Porter who I've learned so much about songwriting from and everyone I write with, I learn something from them. So thank you so much for that. I've got to stop talking. <laughs> A great honor. Thank you to Australian Country Music. Thank you to Max. And yeah, wow, this is amazing. I thought other people win these. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. Praise God. Praise God. The role of renowned clock will be unveiled on the rocks outside the front of Trek tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Living for the highlights, Amber Lawrence. This is Amber's seventh studio album, showcasing contemporary country at its finest. It addresses the challenges of the last few years, reflecting on good and bad times, whilst providing an aspirational vision for the future. The title track features 2022 Golden Guitar New Talent recipients, Darlinghurst. Debuting at number one on the ARIA Australian Album Charts and number one on the ARIA Country Album Charts, it received an ARIA Award nomination for Best Country Album for 2022. Amber is a five times Golden Guitar winner who captures the nation's attention and heart with her uplifting songs of self-belief, fun, family and ordinary Australians. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, Living for the Highlights, Amber Lawrence. It's 
Fantastic song, fantastic artist, my good friend Amber Lawrence there, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for her one more time. <laughs> ah, well, I promised a few of my friends that I wouldn't deliver the stingers too early. I wanted them to be nervous, just so they would wait to see which ones I cracked jokes on, which ones I hung shit on. And they've been squirming in their seats. I think maybe next time I come out, I might deliver a few zingers and just see who gets them for turn. Bear with me on that. But right now, it's time for the Golden Guitar for Country Music Capital News Group or Duo of the Year. And these presenters certainly shot to fame when they tested their marriage and appeared together on the hit TV show, The Block. I'm telling you, I'm so glad there are not any reality TV cameras in my house. It is a circus. <laughs> Please welcome two-time Golden Guitar winner, Kirsty Lee Akers and her handy husband, Jesse Anderson. Tamworth Country Music Festival. Can you believe, Jess, this is my 33rd festival. I know I don't look that old, but it actually is. Yeah, well, well, this is my 18th. Can you believe that or not? Yeah. Well, well, speaking of, I think it's about time you actually threw a guitar on, jumped up on stage with me, and actually did a song instead of one day, instead of just sitting backstage every night drinking the band rider. <laughs> Maybe this year. We'll, we'll see how we go. Well, you heard it here, folks. But that's enough about us. Let's have a look at this category. It's a super strong category this year. It's really tough. It's very strong, and they're all fantastic in their own way and deserving of the win. So let's take a look at the five nominees. Country Music Capital News. Group or Duo of the Year. Brooke McClymont and Adam Eckersley. Oh, Lachlan Bryan and the Wilds. McAllister Kemp. The Buckleys. The Weeping Willows. Like a fool, I paid the price. Now I'm living in the vice. Forever in the house of sin. How exciting. The Golden Guitar for Country Music Capital News Group or Duo of the Year goes to... Brooke McClymon and Adam Eckersley. It was always 
going to be special when two of Australia's finest singer-songwriters announced they were teaming up to release their first album, Adam and Brooke, in 2018. That album was a huge success for the husband and wife duo, and their second album, due for release in May, is highly anticipated. This is the duo's second win this evening. Stop every time you hold me. Add a little more to our love story. Yeah. While we walk down there. Brooke brought her own cup. <laughs> I did. And I forgot I had it in my hand because that's how much I'm enjoying myself tonight. This is amazing, honey. Wow. This is very Can cool. I just say congratulations to you and I? Yes, congratulations to you and I. Also. You and I never expected tonight no. to be even a winner here, and I mean that honestly because it, the room is full of amazing, talented oh. people. And Adam and I feel like we're at this point where we're like, we're these two old married couples who just love playing music. But we also go, we just are honoured that we feel that we get to play music still, and we're just, we feel like a number. But I'll say this. Well, this little project started, this, it started as, <laughs> we are filling in time, basically. What were you going to say, sorry? Did no, you no, have anything no. to say? Listen, you, I, I just you know saved you too me. well. You I, knew, saved me. I knew you had nowhere you to go. You saved me. I was like, ah. Oh, so, so, I will say this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> anyway, yes, we, we started this project to fill in a bit of time. Do you want to get your phone out, seriously? Yeah. Um, Honestly, we did not think. We wrote a list. When the McClimates were having babies and stuff and AEB was off the road, and now we're really digging it. What's your password? <laughs> okay. Hang on. No, sorry. <laughs> That's how old we are now. <laughs> okay, hang on. Everyone in the, everybody oh, in the category, I just want to say... This is, you are all amazing, and I believe the Buckleys, the Weeping Willows, Lachlan, Brian, and the Wilds. Um, quick, who are the other? Oh, shit. You started it, man. And the, McAllister Camp, of McCall course. How could I forget McAllister? Did I forget anyone else? Can, oh, I, can I start? Because I remember yeah. some. Uh, firstly, we want to thank our band that tours with us and has done forever. They're all the members of the uh, AEB, Benny, Mitch, Dan, and now we've added Luke to the touring party, and also oh, sorry, our... Sorry, Dave Brazo is calling us. No, Dave. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> That's classic. Sorry, sorry Dave. Um, and, and our touring sound guy, Shay, and Tabitha, our merch check uh, champions, and Mark Mancini for booking shows. We're actually touring... Uh, we Is start, you? yeah, we start in two weeks. If you haven't got a ticket yet, get oh, a ticket. Great promo. Never, never miss an opportunity to advertise that. Got okay, a lot quickly, of shows. Double R, Robbie DeSaro, our producer again, Scott Hawks, Horsecroft, not Horsecroft, Horsecroft. <laughs> yep, Shay, Tabitha, Universal, Sony ATV Publishing, Alana Blazovic, our social media guru, Maiton, Fender, Tom and Kay, Mum, well, that's your mum and dad. You still yeah. say mum and dad. Tom and Kay, love you, mum and dad. My mum and Ty. Wendy and my late father, Dad, uh, Mark Mancini, Brad Monane, who we've worked with, radio fans, fans, oh my God, I'm just reading it, going, and the fans. You and, can't just say, uh, radio fans. Fans, fans, radio fans, thank you so much, fans. fans. <laughs> we do and, love you, fans. Wait, let me start again. And let me thank all the fans out there who come to all of our shows. So Make some noise. <laughs> we love you guys. Quickly, because we've got to wrap this up. We all want to go to the after party. I know I do. Apple, Spotify, please add us to your playlists. Honestly, I don't know how to do it, but you need to help us out. And I, and I want to thank Channel 10, Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, because really this has kick-started this for, for, for us. I don't know, you're a bit scared about this, but anyway, you're still married to me, so it's fabulous. Thank you to the industry again. We love you and we appreciate all your support. So thank you all very much. Uh just uh, quickly, we'd love to have had a vehicle manufacturer to thank tonight for our tour, but we don't have one, so 
If any vehicle manufacturers out there would like to sponsor our tour, we are open to it. Thank you. I tell ya, I think there's next year's host sorted right there. I'm still as nervous as shit. Are you guys doing all right? Yes. Oh man, everyone here is funnier than me and I've got this job and I'm packing it. <laughs> I can tell you, it's, uh, especially because it's been a rough year for hosts too. Did anybody see the Oscars where, uh, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Old Chris Rock up there gets slapped in the mouth by Will Smith. So right, I'm looking out at my mate Casey Barnes here tonight and I already promised him, I will keep your wife's name. Out my goddamn mouth! <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, Casey and I, we uh, have a good, good bromance online, anyone following. I'm really glad to see he's got some boots on tonight. We have a good bit of banter. Every time I catch him in a pair of Converse, or what I call the Coles shopping shoes, I put him up online. But you're good to see you've got your boots on, mate, and I hope you're walking him up onto the stage tonight to get a couple of awards. Appreciate it. All right. Speaking of great friends, this next performer was actually my group leader when I went to the country music back then, the College of Country Music. And it's, uh, it's all been downhill for me ever since then, ladies and gentlemen. No, of course not. She's uh, my favourite voice on the planet and um, she is nominated for the upcoming category Female Artist of the Year. Please welcome multi-golden guitar winner already, Lynn Botel. Feel the love in the room tonight, can't you, folks? A couple of you. 
Everyone else is still sitting there thinking about that gig they missed last year. No, I, uh, I'm just going to go off the script for a minute and just say this, uh, this room, this town, these awards, this family is, uh, is a really special thing to be a part of. And um, you know, I think James really touched on it um, before. It's, uh, it's, it's, a great, it's a great family, you know, and um, it, it's one that doesn't come without sacrifice and struggles to be part of this. Everybody here deserves an award. In a, in a way, it's a great shame that sometimes only one person can get it. But every one of you that are here, every one of you that have put out work this year, please hang your head high, hold it high, because country music is in the best shape it's ever been in in Australia. I'm so proud to be a part of this family, as we all are. Uh, and I can't wait to see where the torch goes in the next few years with the artists that are coming through. Man, it is an exciting time for country music. We've got four more big awards coming up tonight, the big ones. We are just four more away from the big one, the Toyota Album of the Year. But first, to Female and Male Artist of the Year and to present these awards. She was the first female in the history of Australian country music to achieve platinum record sales. And in 1994, she opened for the legendary Johnny Cash on his Australian tour. <laughs> yeah. And he is the lead singer of the ARIA award-winning band, The Whitlams, and their alt country offshoot, The Whitlams Black Stump Band. Please welcome multi-golden guitar winner, Gina Jeffries, and the smooth, soulful storyteller, Tim Friedman. Hey, Tim, over the years, I've presented golden guitars with many legends like Slim Dusty, John Williamson. And, and look what it's come to. I'm, <laughs> I'm very sorry, Gina. <laughs> Tim, your new country group, the Whitlam's Black Stump Band, is one of my favourites. I've actually got the hots for one of them. I'm, the hots. I'm, I'm the hots. I'm, I'm keen on one of them. Well you, well, you have been married to our banjo player, Rod McCormack, yes. for 23 years. <laughs> you are talking about Rod. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, I'm talking about Rod. Not Matt. Rod. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, Matt Fell uh, put a great band together in the studio and we had a blast, so we formed a group then and there. It was that simple. I love it. But we are here tonight to present the Golden Guitar for Female Artists. Now, this is an award you won, uh, uh, you've won quite a few times mm -hmm. over the years. Yes. Let's have a look at who's nominated this year. Female Artist of the Year. Amber Lawrence. Dallas We can be in different places but tied together by Haley Jensen my bones and hold my breath gonna breathe you in like a cigarette I know you're bad for me but it sure feels good at the time Lynn Botel Melanie Dyer. One bet on a cheap escado. Two hopeless hearts on the floor. 3 a.m. turns in a four. Sun's coming up five minutes more. There's probably you. Girls, I feel your pain. Nothing makes me more nervous than sitting in the audience right now waiting for this. You ready? The Golden Guitar for Female Artist of the Year goes to... is a multi-golden guitar winning singer-songwriter and one of Australia's most celebrated and hardest working artists. Having released seven studio albums and three children's albums, Amber's latest release, Living for the Highlights, July 22, debuted as the number one all-genre Australian album on the ARIA charts. This win takes her golden guitar career tally to six. Congratulations, Amber. Firstly, um, yes, didn't mean to stack it on the stage there, but um, 
to all the female artists, uh, including the ones, especially the ones in this category, but also the ones that were eligible for this category. We work so hard and um, to be the female artist of the year when I know how many talented women there are. Um, many of them even helped on this record. Lynn Botel co-wrote two of my favourite songs. Melanie Dyer co-wrote Bring It Back with me. Um, Ashley Dallas sang on one of the tracks and, um, and Hayley Jensen and I are really good mates that uh, bond over, over our, our, our genre and this industry. And um, 20 years ago, I put in a leave request form <laughs> at my job at Qantas and um, I said, I'm going in a talent quest. And everyone thought that was ridiculous. And I came here, something, something music publishing, and Stuart Stewart, the incredible producer. Uh, there were two really important facets to me being able to do what I did last year, which was be away a lot and do a lot of shows because I wanted the album heard. And my band, they, they accepted the gigs. They never got any information except I'll pick you up at 4 a.m. and uh, you'll get home on Monday at some time. Um, so they put in so much work for me. Simon Johnson, Glenn Harrison, Rod Motby, Mal Lancaster, Bonnie Kellett, and Lara Duncan as well. Uh, they really were the backbone of last year's touring. Thank you so much. And finally, um, definitely wouldn't have been able to do what I did last year without my family support of Marty. And I described him in a, in a newspaper story this week as, uh, as being pretty, pretty good or better than that, I think. But he said he, he wanted to be upgraded to great. And I said, well, look, after tonight, I'm going to buy you a tractor. <laughs> and, <laughs> we had an absolute equal partnership. He's got a very high-powered career, but he, he stayed home every weekend, not as a babysitter, but as, as a, a partner in this raising of our beautiful son, Ike. And again, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without my mum, and uh, thanks for being my greatest supporter. I think I've thanked everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate this so much. Gina, I know you uh, mentor a lot of young country artists uh, like Max Jackson and yes. Courtney Kyle in your workshop program. And uh, I imagine that winning an award like this is the dream for them. It's the, it's the absolute biggest dream. I've got a whole bunch of other girls out in the audience tonight too who you guys will get to know, I hope, next year or the year after who I'm lucky enough to spend time with. But when we talk about what do you want the most out of your career, a golden guitar is right at the top of all of their wishes. So this means more than any of you can possibly know when you're an artist. And I'm sure these five male nominees were exactly the same when they were starting out. Male Artist of the Year. Adam Brand. Stand up tall if you're gonna stand for something. It means nothing at all. It ain't all nothing. Andrew Swift. Casey Barnes. James Johnston. I'll head back to a small town, homebound, back to what I know, back to a big sky, low fly, that's where I'll go. All there's always been a Morgan Evans. And the golden guitar for Male Artist of the Year goes to Andrew Swift. Now with two acclaimed albums under his belt, 
Andrew has established himself as a force to be reckoned with. A hard-working, soulful troubadour who has a passion for touring and getting his music out to his fans. This win tonight takes Andrew's golden guitar tally to three. Congratulations, Andrew. I was told I had to get dressed first and do up the vest. Um, this is absolutely incredible. Uh, firstly, uh, Adam Brand, Casey Barnes, James Johnston and Morgan Evans. To be nominated alongside you guys is something else. You guys, we all work very hard. We all work our asses off. And uh, coming out of... Out of uh, Look, I'm from Melbourne. I don't know if you know, we went through a thing called a lockdown. We never talk about it. Um, but we're the world record holders. And, and uh, coming out of that at the, at the start of last year, I just wanted to hit the ground running. I wanted to work as hard as I could, get back on the road. And uh, there are some people that I really need to thank to help me, that, to help me do that. Uh, firstly, ABC Music, Nat, Fiji, Nicole, Vanessa, Fee, thank you so much. Um, I'd love to thank my, my parents, Mum and John, and uh, especially my dad for being the most, best, uh, best merch person going around this festival. <laughs> uh, Jeff Bell at Lang Entertainment, thank you for getting me more festivals than I've ever had last year. Um, Brogan White for always being in my corner and keeping an eye out for me. I know I'm going to forget people. Uh, I'm going to try not to. Matt Fell. Where's Matt? Thank you for... Thank you, mate. Just, I love working with you. I can't wait to share more music that we've done with everybody soon. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Um, now, m m my bass player, Zach, has reminded me several times tonight that if I win, that I need to thank the band. Um, <laughs> he's been very persistent. He's like, James did it. You've got to do it. <laughs> Zach Watson for playing. Uh, Damien Caffarella, Steve Fernley. Uh, thank you so much. Benny Kant for last year helping us out. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Zach, I'm never going to get sick of hearing stories about you driving over your own bass guitar or walking into toilet walls. And Damien Caffarella, I love you, man. Return a call so I don't have to write a song to tell you to, you know, return a call. Um, thank you to those guys. A big thank you to Phil Barton. Two of the three songs I put out last year were written with Phil. A huge thank you to Tennille Towns as well for writing The Good Old Days with me. Um, it was something special. Uh, this is, uh, last time I was up here, I thanked all my friends uh, from high school that I would always go away with. And it's kind of a, a serendipitous thing that tonight the song that I played was inspired by those weekends away with those guys and they featured in that music video. Uh, so big thanks again to them. Uh, most importantly, oh, oh actually not, not most importantly, hold on, we've got to get there, there's few. Last time I was up here, I forgot to thank the country, uh, everybody, all the country radio stations, community, major ones. Thank you for playing our music. Thank you for supporting us. Alan Caswell, you're going to hate this, but thank you to the streaming partners. The, ma the major ones, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, thank you so much. Um, I'm nearly done, I promise. Uh, I did want to thank uh, all, everybody who came out to a show, especially over the last year, to get live music back up and going. Thank you so much. Thank you for buying tickets. Thank you for buying merchandise. Uh, I cannot express how grateful I am that you guys keep me doing what I'm doing. Thank you. Uh, Simone, my girlfriend Simone. Not only thank you for stealing the show with those boots tonight, if you see them, she put every single rhinestone on them herself. I love you. Uh, thank you so much. I, I'm someone who has a lot of self-doubt. I try not to put it out in the world, but Sim, you always hold me up. You always build me up, and I appreciate it. Just...
I'm so lucky to have you in my life, and I thank you. And I hope that somehow you guys can fit four people on the back seat tomorrow, because this baby's riding shotgun. Thank you so much. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, In the Moment, Ashley Dallas. In the Moment is Ashley's fifth album and was produced by her father, Brett Dallas. Recorded largely while she was pregnant with her second child, In the Moment celebrates the small moments of daily life with an optimism that doesn't ignore the tough times. The album debuted at number two on the ARIA charts and continues to demonstrate Ashley's authentic songwriting and traditional sound with a contemporary feel. Tamworth born and bred, Ashley is a multi-golden guitar winner and her outgoing and infectious personality shines through in this album. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, in the moment, Ashley Dallas.
here now to present Song of the Year. This is a big one. Any of the people in country music would say it starts with the song, it ends with the song, everything comes back to the song. So this is a very, very special one and these two people are perfect to present it. To present Song of the Year are Amy Shepherd, who is a founding member of indie pop band Shepherd, as well as having a solid solo career with her EP Nothing But Wild, which came out just last September. Joining Amy is Nashville-based Australian songwriter. I'm going to go off this script. We all know Phil, and if you don't know Phil, you probably should find out who Phil is. This guy is the pathway. He has helped so many people go to Nashville and find their feet. He offers a couch to sleep on. He offers co-writes. This man makes it happen for us. We are very, very chuffed to have him here with us, and we love him dearly. He had his first number one a long, long time ago, and several since, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Barton and Amy Shepard. Shepherd, everybody. Bill Button, everybody. Oh, <laughs> well, last time I saw Amy, we were in Nashville, Tennessee, in my writer's office at Liz Rose Music, right. and we were with um, Kylie Sackley. Another great Australian songwriter. Yeah, she won a golden guitar, I think, for New Talent. So, Fabulous. Um, very, very fun. Do you like Nashville? I love Nashville. I love it, too. I love Tamworth more. <laughs> yeah. It's been a great week for me. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. It's, it's amazing to be back in Australia, let me tell you that. It was snowing in Nashville on Sunday, so it's nice, <laughs> nice, nice little climate change. But um, talking of uh, great songs, you just put out a song yesterday. Yeah, a couple goals. I wrote it with the Wolf Brothers. And also, I want to say congratulations to you, Phil, because you've reached a milestone. Phil has written over a thousand songs. Yeah. For songwriters all over the world. That's just a huge achievement. Yeah. I, I, my, can you believe my thousandth song that came out was uh, last week with a band called High Valley, but um, Alison Krauss called them up and said she wanted to do it as a duet, so it was pretty amazing and really special. Well, this category celebrates great songwriting. Yeah, and there's a bunch of great songs that are in the running tonight. So let's take a look at the nominees. Woo. Song of the Year. All or Nothing. Written by Adam Brand, Nicholas Wolfe and Tom Wolfe. Recorded by Adam Brand. Star of the Show. Written by Brooke McClymont, Adam Eckersley, Dan Biederman and Tiggy Hart Eckersley. Recorded by Brooke McClymont and Adam Eckersley. Small Town. Written by Casey Barnes, Michael DeLorenzis and Michael Painter. Recorded by Casey Barnes. Small Town. Written by James Johnston and Nolan Wynn. Recorded by James Johnston. South East Queensland. Written by Luke O'Shea, Fred Smith and Mitchell Lynham. Recorded by Luke O'Shea. South East Queensland. And the golden guitar for Song of the Year goes to... Let's see. Star of the Show. <laughs> Written by Brooke McClamon, Adam Eckersley, and Dan Bitterman. Today! This was the first song co-written with Brooke and Adam's daughter, Tiggy, who came up with the piano riff in the song. Brooke and Adam fell in love with it. Co-writer Dan Biederman joined the three of them and Star of the Show was born. This is the duo's third win this evening. I wanna jump till I wake someone up sometimes shaking them awake, I ain't enough. So I've learned to make coffee in their favorite cup. I'm in tears. I'm, I'm, this award, Dan, come in. Come in here, beady man. 
Tiggy was a, oh, just up. playing this riff over and over again in the lounge room when she was about six or something, and we loved it. We were going, wow, this is awesome. Can we steal it? <laughs> But I also said, we'll put you on the song, darling. Do you mind if we write a song about you in this? If we can use it, you'll get paid. <laughs> well, before that, Arizona Dan. Dan, who's always been awesome with Tiggs and the piano, was at our house to write a song one day and, and asked, how's Tiggy going on piano? We said, darling, come and show Arizona <laughs> Dan that riff you've been playing. And, and Dan just looked at us and said, we're going to be writing this song. Tiggy, so. Wonderful. Then we had to she would have to be the youngest to win a golden guitar, right? She legit wrote this song. Congratulations. Do you want to say something, Doug? Hey, you, you can, you just, can you can you tiptoe? Do you want to talk, darling? Do you want to say anything? Just like, what do, you, <laughs> what do you want to say, baby girl? Thank you. <laughs> yes! Do you want to say something, baby man? Uh, thanks to the voters, you've got great taste. <laughs> this was a lot of fun to work on. It was very special to be part of this trio. You can see it's hard to keep up with these two. <laughs> Thank God we have Tiggy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Well, this next award, Top Selling Australian Album of the Year, is a little different in that the winner is determined by album sale figures that are compiled by ARIA for the 2022 calendar year. Now, the worthy recipient of this year was announced a week or so ago, but let's take a look at all the top five selling Australian country albums for 2022. And the five top-selling Australian country albums in 2022, based on the ARIA charts, were... At number five, Truth, Christy Lamb. At number four, Wild, Kirsty Lee Akers. Number three, living for the highlights, Amber Lawrence. Voice could make me cry. I'm coming home to the gum trees and the lamb roast on a Sunday, sitting around the kitchen table. At number two, all or nothing, Adam Brand. Stand up tall if you're gonna stand for something. It means nothing at all. And at number one, the highest selling Australian country album and top selling Australian album of the year went to Light It Up, Casey Barnes. Light It Up is Casey's seventh studio album. It debuted at number one on the ARIA Australian Country Album Chart and took out the 2022 ARIA Award for Best Country Album. This is Casey's first golden guitar win. So this is what these look like. Holy crap. I think we should all make a rule that uh, Brooke and Adam should make all acceptance speeches from here on in. I think, uh, put your hands together for Brooke and Adam. They've been amazing tonight. Man, I don't even know where to start. Far out, there's so many people to thank. Um, we started out with a, with a vision with this album. We wanted to make it the best one that I've put out yet. And, um, there's so many people that have worked so hard on this. I want to thank Mr. Dan Biddle, who's sitting up the front, who puts up with all of my shit. And I, I stress him out all the time, and he's just, he's just amazing. He works his backside off, and we need more Dan Biddles in this industry. You are amazing. I want to thank my manager, Mr. Michael Chug, who's touring around Oz with uh, Elton John, so he couldn't be here tonight. Fair enough. You know, I understand, mate. 
But no, he's been incredible. My, my entire team are, are just amazing. Um, I want to thank Frank Verasso and Josh from Verasso PR. You guys are amazing. We started out a very long time ago, and I remember sending you songs, and um, you were always brutally honest, and we finally got to a point where you were like, I think these are going to work. So you guys have been amazing, and you work your asses off, so thank you so much. I want to thank Country Radio. Country Radio. I know, I know a few of the other guys have thanked Country Radio, but without you guys, we don't get our songs out there. We don't get heard. So you guys are amazing. Um, so thanks for playing my stuff. I want to thank my band, Wazza, Ben, Jeremy. You guys are amazing. We have travelled all over this country working our backsides off this year and you guys have never complained. And I love you guys. Um, this is as much yours as it is mine. So thank you to the boys in my band. And I guess... I, the one thing I love about the country music industry, which I, I think you don't find in a lot of other genres, is the fact that we are, at the end of the day, we're all great mates and we all want to see each other do well. And when I was lucky enough to win my first ever ARIA a couple of months ago, but, which was amazing, absolutely amazing, just the messages that I got from my peers to say congratulations, that, that sort of stuff doesn't happen in other genres. It's so competitive and that's the thing I love about Australian country music is we're all in it together. We all want to see each other do well. So that's one thing I love. I think it's fantastic. Now, I guess this one really does mean a, a lot because it's fan voted. And um, I, I'm so lucky to have the best fans, you know, guys that have come out to all of our shows this year, who've gone out and bought the album, who've gone and streamed it, who've told their mates... My, my friends Casey and Amanda who have come to all of our shows around the country who sell my albums and someone will come up and buy a t-shirt and they'll definitely upsell them and probably walk away with an album at the same time. So Casey and Amanda, you guys are fantastic, so thank you. And last but not least, um, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Michelle, and my fam family back at home. Um, she puts up with a lot of crap and, and she is my backbone. There's a lot of ups and downs in this industry and, um, you know, when, it's, when you're going through the tough times, she's always been there by my side. And um, the song that I'm going to play for you guys tonight is a track that is dedicated to my wife. And um, we, when we were coming up with the idea for this song, we, I, I was looking for a title and a phrase that sort of encapsulated how you feel about your partner in the best way. And um, I remember when I wrote this with uh, my two friends over in Nashville, Casey and Sam, um, when we came up with this title, we knew it was a great song. So I'm looking forward to playing that for you guys tonight. And I also want to thank Michael Delarenzis and Michael Painter from M Squared who worked their backsides on this album. Um, you guys are fantastic. And thank you so much. It means a lot. Thank you. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, Light It Up, Casey Barnes. Casey continued his hot streak in 2022 with the release of his acclaimed seventh studio album, Light It Up. Debuting at number one on the ARIA Australian Country Album Chart and number three on the All Genre Australian Album Chart, the album features five smash hit singles, including Come Turn Me On. The album took out the 2022 ARIA Award for Best Country Album and was announced last week as the Golden Guitar Top Selling Australian Country Album of the Year. Nominee for Toyota Album of the Year, Light It Up, Casey Barnes. Call it the whiskey, call it the wine. I got a spark in my heart that you light up every night. They're calling me crazy, maybe it's true. The only thing crazy is the way I feel about you. So when you kisses on my lips, when you whisper under your breath, where the world slows sound when you walk into a room. You got that kind of love that makes me know it's true. When heaven drowns you up, God took his time. I 
Sharp two tonight, Case. Woo! I thought they were boots, but they're actually suit shoes. We're going to talk later, brother. <laughs> no, no, great, great work. It's um, it's it's hard to sell music at all these days. So uh, higher selling uh, anything. Uh, congratulations to Casey Barnes one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how's everybody feeling? We still, we've, all, we've almost made it. We are so close. We are still energised. We are still feeling good in the room. Everybody shake it out. Have a little bit of a shake. Come on. Take a big breath. Just don't breathe it out. I'm joking. One big award to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the big one. This is the one you want to take home. Um, the Toyota Album of the Year. To present... Please welcome Vice President, National Sales, Marketing and Franchise Operations of Toyota Australia, Sean Henley, with the, two, the 2022 Toyota star maker, Max Jackson, and the newly crowned future superstar, 2023 Toyota star maker, Lauren Ryan. Well, thank you very much, Travis. And uh, one thing I will say, Travis, you got exactly right. Country music's in great hands. The wealth of talent coming through is unbelievable. Congratulations to everybody and congratulations to the lovely people beside me. Max, first I'll start with you. You have had a really busy but a fantastic few months as the 2022 Toyota Star Maker, including a Golden Guitar Award nomination tonight. It's pretty good. Don't get much better. I've had an incredible time as Toyota Star Maker and I've been so grateful for every opportunity that has come my way. Things like getting around and playing at Australia's biggest country music festivals, getting over to Nashville, and of course, getting around in my Toyota wheels has been a very stylish way to do it all, of course. It's all been an absolute dream come true. Well, you talk about, oh, what a feeling, right? It's not too bad. I mean, a Toyota for a year, plus all these great songs. And now, may I move on to the great Lauren, now the baton. Or should I say, 
maybe not the baton, should I say the guitar, or may I even say the car, I oh, want a feeling, <laughs> gets handed out to our 2023 Toyota star maker now, and that is, of course, Lauren. And I want to congratulate Lauren on taking out the 2023 title earlier this week, as you're all aware. So well done, Lauren. And I know it's going to be an exciting year for not only you, but for Toyota, for country music, and we welcome you officially to the Toyota family. Lauren. Thank you, Sean. Oh, it was an amazing night and, and an experience I'll remember for a very long time. And I want to say a big thank you to Toyota for supporting new talent. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love it, right? But we love seeing the new talent come through. So, Lauren, it is Toyota's greatest pleasure to play each part, of course, with yourself, Max, and all the other star makers of the past, it play our role in growing the future of Australian country music. We've seen it on display today, or tonight, I should say. We've seen it on display over the last week. It's in great shape. And I can tell you, we have a lot to owe the people that came before the great talent we're seeing tonight. And for those people, of course, we never forget, we say thank you. In 2023, I don't know whether you know it, but Toyota celebrates 31 years of sponsoring the festival. And may I say, if I could indulge for a moment, including 27 years of supporting the Toyota Star Maker. And, and of course, that is Australia's oldest and most prestigious country music talent search that we have in our great country. Of course, the Toyota Star Maker competition is a vital part of our partnership with the Country Music Festival. It gives artists like Max and Lauren the platform or a platform that they all need. And it's just another way that we can help them progress to the next step in their career. So Lauren and Max, you are now part of a legendary club with many members in the audience here tonight. And on behalf of Toyota Australia, all of us at Toyota Australia and our dealers, I'd like to say a big thank you if I could to the Tamworth Regional Council, who do a marvellous job every year putting this event on. I'd also like to thank, on behalf of Toyota, every one of you that's come along tonight and every one of you that has supported this great event, not only this week, but over the last 30 plus years. So well done. And here we are celebrating the talent, the country music talent that we have in this country. And we at Toyota are delighted to be here and continuing our commitment in supporting country music in Australia and we are thrilled to be presenting the Golden Guitar for Toyota Album of the Year. Well, I guess it's time to find out who takes home the big one tonight. Yes, let's take a look at the five nominees vying for the 2023 Toyota Album of the Year. Toyota Album of the Year. All or Nothing. Adam Brand, produced by Adam Brand, Visa Matara, Benji Pocock and Luke Wooten. If it means nothing at all, if it ain't all or nothing. Living for the Highlights, Amber Lawrence, produced by Stuart Stewart. I'm coming home to the country's and a lamb roast on a Sunday, sitting around the kitchen table. In the Moment. Ashley Dallas, produced by Brett Dallas. The biggest, brightest moon. And know that the one she is looking Light it up. Casey Barnes, produced by Michael DiLorenzis and Michael Painter. I want to get to know you. Tell me what you're all about. I want to get to know you. Silver Linings, Kaylee Bell. Produced by Simon Oscroft, Andy Mack, Joseph Farris, Andrew Pacheco and Lindsay Rhymes. Silver Linings, yeah. And the Golden Guitar for Toyota Album of the Year goes to... Goes to... Casey Barnes. <laughs> Debuting number one on the Aria Australian Country Album Chart and number three on the All Genre Australian Album Chart, Light It Up features five smash hit singles. Produced by Melbourne-based production team M Squared, Michael DiLorenzis and Michael Painter. 
the album took out the 2022 ARIA Award for Best Country Album. This is Casey's second win this evening. Congratulations, Casey. Man. Oh. Man, I'm going to cry. Far out. Man, this is amazing. I, I can relate to so many of you guys. I've sat out in that audience for so many years and been very lucky to be nominated and, and missed out. And, and I thought, you know, maybe it's not my year again. And, and to win this is just unbelievable. I just don't know what to say. I'm so grateful. So grateful. I love this industry. I love the people in it. I love the artists. I love where Australian country music is at. I think we're in such a great place and we're heading in all the right directions. Um, so many incredible artists, so many incredible albums that were up for uh, nominations for tonight. Um, far out. I, I want to thank my team again, Chug Music, MGM. I want to thank Mushroom Publishing. Um, Dan Biddle again, I want to thank you, mate. I want to thank a bloke who's been sitting next to me up the front row, a guy called Mark Duckworth, who puts on Groundwater Country Music Festival. I'll tell you something about Ducky that a lot of people don't know in this room. Now, Mark Duckworth, <laughs> he's actually one of the best lyricists and songwriters that I've ever worked with. And I was lucky enough to team up with Ducky on a couple of songs on my last album. And, and you are an incredibly talented bloke. And I know when I was first starting out, mate, I was hounding you to get on the, the line up at uh, Broadbeach Country Music Festival and you gave me a run, mate. And I can't thank you enough, so I love you, mate. You're a brother. I want to thank Frank and Josh again from Verasso PR. You guys, exactly the same, mate. You've, you've believed in this album, you've believed in these songs. And I just, I still can't believe this. This is unbelievable, far out. Um, I want to thank my fans. I, as I said before, I'm so lucky to have the most amazing fans. You guys have just been incredible. Um, I'm so excited to see where this all leads from now. And man, let's celebrate, let's have some drinks and let's party because country music is alive and well in Australia. Thank you so much. Casey Barnes, before you head off stage, hey Casey, over here mate, I've got one final award to give you tonight mate, if you would like to come and accept. Now these aren't new, I've done a few shoeys out of these in my time, but consider this a baptism of country music right here, they're way too shiny mate. You can take those. I love you, <laughs> I love you too bro. <laughs> Shh. We should do a shoey later. Casey Barnes folks. Congrats. <laughs> oh, I think that ends the uh, Converse boot war. Right there, we'll have to find a new beef. That just about, I feel like I've said that ten times tonight. Almost the end, almost the end, but we're here. Thank you for your patience with me tonight. I hope I've done this role justice. I've been very nervous all night. I can still smell Dobe's suit on me. A big thank you to the team here tonight, the production crew that put these awards together, uh, the creative crew from Peter Ross all the way through to the people that rigged this stuff up. You guys don't see them, they're workers, they work undercover, but everything that you see in here has to be put here by a working crew, so thanks to the road crew, thanks to the riggers, thanks to the lighting, thanks to this amazing band. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. To everybody watching from around the country and indeed around the world, we'd love to see you right here in Tamworth, the heart of New South Wales, next year, 2024, for the 52nd Tamworth Country Music Festival and Awards. But that brings us to the end of the night with just one more performance. And uh, what better way to do it out? We're going to close the show. We've got a special performance to celebrate one of the strong forces of the future of country music. He had a massive six nominations tonight and opened his account and took home new talent as well as vocal collaboration of the year. He had his first, <laughs> check this out, his first ever ticketed show earlier this week in here and it blew away a crowd of 1,900 plus people. Let's make some noise, bring it home strong, James Johnston! Back to
up traffic on the highway Going nowhere I have to stay back and work late Yeah, and I'm over it Trying to look not but all I see High rise stepping down at me Not a star inside So I'm just thinking I'll head back to a small town Country song, and I can't get there now fast enough. So, bet I'm gonna tear it up. Gonna grab it all night and run into the sunrise. Only place I'll go is back to a small town. Homebound, back to what I know. Back to a big sky. No five is where I'll go. Oh, there's always been a part of me that never gave it up. So, tonight it's time to turn this thing around. Back to Stage for a winner's group festival.